Good evening, everyone. This is MG Law. Hope you are having a wonderful Saturday night. It's the weekend. It's been a wonderful, it was a beautiful day here in Oklahoma. It was a little, really windy, but otherwise beautiful. We finally got into the 80s. It was nice. Of course, Monday's going to suck. It's going to be some bad weather, but we're going to get started. We're going to try to roll on through at some point our, uh, Tonsil Twins case, get through the rest of the uh, response by Clayton's attorney, and then go into a reply that was filed by uh, Laura Owen's attorney, I believe yesterday. But we're going to go on and bring in our first guest. He's none other than the expert. <laughs> How you doing, man? <laughs> How you going, man? You have a good Saturday? Yeah, I went to the orange and white game. It's the... Uh, oh. Spring game, uh, all right. Spring game, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was fun until the um, they did a uh, practice like uh, field goal at the beginning. Yeah, and the I watched it. We we're that's where the seats were. They had it's like only ten thousand people were had yeah. tickets or whatever. You know, they had it close so at the end zone, and the ball goes right over him. Watching it hit, I, was, I saw it hit. You know, I just saw someone got ball comes <laughs> so I turn around. Ball comes flying back, hits me in the side of the head. <laughs> yeah. You keep your head on swivel, man. Yeah, I know. It's my, my, uh, I'm a little sore. A little sore. A little sore right now. Yeah. I've had uh, ice on me. <laughs> Jaws but I'm like, kind, of, kind of like uh, Jane Doe. Yeah. Jaws yeah, a little yeah. sore. But I was like, who gets hit with a football, man? I watched it land. It I didn't hit you in the head while you weren't like on the fly. At least it was after a bounce. Yeah, yeah, it was. I mean, that was, the, but it's just it was that big flat. I mean, I could yeah. hear it uh, go that that uh, you know, yeah, the ping sound. That's it. Yeah, it's like a basketball or something like that. Yeah. So uh, I asked my wife. I was like, "Did somebody throw that?" She said, "No, it bounced back." And I was like, "But like, I watched it. It hit." And then I guess I just went back like this. Whoa. Well, and you know, and it's oblong shape, so it bounces all weird, different ways. So. Yeah, well, I, the good news is I didn't hurt the ball. Yeah, so yeah. ball's okay. But uh, let's see, we got a <laughs> stir crazy. He's been was in uh, on the YouTube comments in here already tonight. Has loved your last video. I wish you could do a collab with Dave, Megan, Tug, Legal Vices, and the two that were on your panel for that live you did. Uh, yeah, I've, and Megan has been invited. Um, she was invited the other night, but she fell asleep <laughs> before the stream because she's an out. hour ahead of me. It's oh. it, we stream a little late. She fell asleep uh, tonight. I think you know she was on with Tug tonight, and God, they were a riot. I think uh, they. T I don't know if you saw that Tug is now pregnant with triplets. I saw that uh, on Twitter. I know it's amazing. Um, <laughs> that was a riot. But she uh, she left, and I think her kid. They were she's doing a movie night with her kids. So maybe yeah. she'll. She has an invite. She didn't respond, uh, but then. Sometimes she doesn't see it for a while. So maybe she'll jump on later. Um, we'll see. I sent one to um, Kaiser as well. I saw he was in the chat in case he wants to join. Oh, cool. Um, and Shizzy. So, but yeah, Shizzy said, said it resist. was the funniest stream I've ever watched, shared it with so many others. It, it's, <laughs> it, it was, <laughs> it was a hoot. But the, the chat just killed us <laughs> the other night. They were oh, just, dude, they were on was... fire. Yeah, yeah. So I hope you can collab with Dave Neal. Yeah, Dave's pretty funny too. And I've been on with Megan. Megan and Tug and I were on on Megan's stream a few weeks ago. Uh, and I've been on with Vice's son. Uh, he's usually working when I stream, but I know it's probably Sunday afternoon right now. He's he's probably busy. Uh, but yeah, it's this is this case is just something else. And then it's, then you know Dushkanu turns around and files a reply to the response yesterday that we were reading through. Uh, oh, did he really? Yeah, he filed a reply in support of his motion to compel lunch, uh, which apparently uh, Lawn Lumber in and In support Ian, of he, the yeah, lunch? He, he, so, so, you know, he's the one, he filed the motion to compel the lunch. <laughs> and then Clayton's attorney filed the response and objection. Well, now this guy's filed a reply to the response. Um. But I think Lawn Lumber and Ian Runkel have both read the motion compel lunch and are like, what the hell is this? Kind of like I was thinking, what in the world? 
<laughs> never heard of that. Well, you, you know, I mean, you got to give the guy credit. I mean, oh, he he found him. You're not going to forget about him. Opinion. You're not going to forget about him. That's for opinion. sure. Oh, hey, I hope he keeps it up. It's content. Dude, you know we're we're at that level, at that point now where it's only a matter of time before you you do have like some lawyer becomes like super you know famous whatever for his stupid oh, like, yeah something like this. Well, let's go on and bring in our our next guest. I'm glad he's able to join us tonight. It's Kaiser. What's up, <laughs> hey, Kaiser? What's up, I hey, saw your I saw your your chat earlier. It's like <laughs> this is really the person that. That that uh, if this thumbnail is actually the chick who is suing Clayton, Clayton's <laughs> duties, it is the actual chick. It is. I her. thought so. Yeah, like, she did some uh, vlog or something about it, and then she's all crying about how this how she's being treated, and oh, just a bunch of bullshit. And I just yeah. paused it at the perfect time. It was like I need a thumbnail, and so I pulled that pulled up that video uh, that Megan played for us on stream. Leave me like, alone. <laughs> that's kind of what it seemed like to me yeah oh my god i mean like that okay, dude lives not far from like she is know. so mid man i mean come on if you're gonna yeah, have something like may, this maybe happy, i mean at I least know. get I mean, something that's like at least a seven and eight something like that but i mean he was on the bachelor he certainly can do better oh you could pull so Good much things. better. I mean, like this this chick had to have been three well, a.m. All right, well, I got to get something. I think, I think there was. I think some gummies might have been involved. <laughs> I, there had to be something else involved for for him to to oh, really Lord. relax his standards that much. You know, and well, it just goes yeah, to, sometimes. Just goes to show, folks, never stick your well, you know, yeah, in, anywhere, anywhere in, in crazy, in crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Tinker Lou got my earbuds in, ready to be a lurker tonight to fall asleep. Well, we are very good at putting people to sleep at night, especially oh, me. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, we knock you out a lot. I have put I put expert to sleep tonight in one night too. So, uh, I've got a melatonin <laughs> on board. I'm just waiting oh. for it to kick in. <laughs> oh no. You don't need it when you listen to my streams. I am I'm a natural <laughs> melatonin. Yeah, I say I'll uh, I'll be comatose till sometime in, uh, around Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, Melo oh, is not my good friend. Evening, evening. You uh, need nightmares. In the that leisure, is... uh, I just wake up just in a fog. I just can't. Oh um, yeah. The the one milligram, like the kids, you know, every now and then when it's like because they really just need to go to bed. It's still like light outside. Uh -huh. um, that's a one milligram and I take that and it helps just, it'll help me every now and then. I've done it before and it'll just kind of slow me down a little bit. I've done the five for adults and it, oh yeah. Oh, that one, that one's, that one hits pretty good, but I just wake up foggy the next day and I can't, I just can't do it. Uh, I've built up a, I mean, of course I'm a serious insomniac anyway, and I, I built up a tolerance over the years oh, so yeah. uh it, it i need a five just benadryl? to be able to crack the surface hey, hey, do you ever take like benadryl like diphenhydramine oh yeah i i yeah. i that, usually that, that helps stick or something like that you know i'll do the uh the benadryl but yeah um i'll tell you what you want to sleep and forget everything the next morning take a melatonin and a benadryl uh you'll wake up sometime next week with no idea who you are where where you're from and whose pants are these? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we heard the latest news. Tug is, is uh, pregnant with triplet. I heard about that. Congrats awesome. to Tug. Uh, Tug's you know, I feel, uh, you know, congratulations. Don't want to be paying your college tuition. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to explain this case to my daughter. She didn't get, yeah, there's no th thinking here. Well, she's trying to trap this guy and. I gotta fix my awesome. lighting. Sure, Hang sure. on. With Dave Neal's Discord, it was it was a blast. Well, you never get notified for me by YouTube because YouTube is asshole. Uh, within about five minutes of maybe fifteen minutes max of every stream ending, monetization goes yellow. Dude, but um... la but but last night I got to check again. Last night when I checked this morning, last night or the Thursday night stream, um, was still green. It, it stayed green. 
It never, so never went yellow. My, I think it was Wednesday. I uh, did a um, coin pusher deal. Uh, you know, one of the old ones that they had done. Yep. And um, what is wrong with my camera? Um, anyway, uh, good stream, right? Green, green, green. After the show last night, it was yellow. Like a day after the Wednesday day. one was yellow. It was good all day Wednesday, all night Wednesday to Thursday night, Thursday night to Friday night went to yellow. I was like, "What?" Yeah, Laura, when's this first time this stream is it later than me? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's awesome. Is there, well, I appreciate that, Stir Crazy. I've only been doing this a little over a year and really streaming consistently since, what, end of last summer. So, yeah. It's, it's Laura Owens hits. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my goodness. Um, it, was your weather nice today, by the way? Oh, it was beautiful. Did, other than the like 30 mile an hour wind all day, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. We're rough. supposed to have up, like Mayor Dan. Like, hey, Mayor Dan, how Mayor are you? you? What's going on, Mayor Dan? Did you get your power back? His power went out last night. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah, you had storms come through last night. I saw legal vices pop through. I thought I saw him in chat somewhere. <laughs> That's cool. I think I saw him in there somewhere. He, he, he was responding to. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, he wasn't pulling. She was. If you were single and a chick looking like that was alone at a property with you and she started unzipping you, you wouldn't fight. <laughs> <laughs> it, you're like, well, I'm already oh, here, I yeah, guess. Well, well, let's just know, go ahead and do this. Single. <laughs> um, she's talking a lot now. Did she promise? Did she swallow? He just didn't realize how deep her throat went. <laughs> I'm not sure that's how anatomically things work, but okay. <laughs> listen, Paula the other night said, listen, you guys are missing out. What you need to be talking about is him. Like, <laughs> how do you get that thing down there? I remember that, Paula. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, did oh, you? That's bad. Yes, there are test results and a sonogram for Tug. He is pregnant with triplets. Did you see the sonogram? Yeah, I saw the one that Megan put up. <laughs> I, I, I will just got um, they got umbrella faces. Yeah. <laughs> I got home and started looking at all the stuff. I saw that. I was like, oh, man. Good times. <laughs> Anyone explain why chat members get kicked out of chat on it? I have no idea. Huh? Because you're here. No idea. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that YouTube. happened. Someone said it kept happening. YouTube. Because I, I haven't seen where anybody's been booted tonight. At least yeah. from anybody in you know any of the mods. They're not. Yeah. Yeah, not sure if um, it, it uh, takes a lot. I would. Get... I would be able to see it if that happened. Yeah. Yeah. And. Yeah, you know. I know I'm mine. Uh, I forget who it was. Kept saying I, I got kicked out again. I got kicked out again. I don't know. That's weird. No, uh, not blocked or timed out. I think YouTube just does something. I don't know. I mean, YouTube's ass host, so. Well, Tug has made it his new avatar. That's awesome. <laughs> <It's> asshole. <laughs> And I don't know how much you saw of the stream the other night, Kaiser. Um, through I did emotions. not catch it the other night. I yeah, it's oh, it's, it's been right. a little bit hectic around here. Uh, this this lady, I, I know you you know the story of what's going on with this. Yeah, case. I'm up okay. to date on the story so far. Yeah. So he, this her her newest attorney filed a motion to compel lunch. I heard because you he's wanting the meet. He wants that. to do a, essentially a meet and confer over discovery violations because she hasn't turned over jack shit as far as disclosed anything she's supposed to and so apparently there's been a lot of emails between both sides but and i think there were some phone calls too but um this new guy was like well he won't respond to my he won't answer my calls he won't you know and so he's there's this case like 20 years ago in arizona and it's a lower it's not even an appellate case 
that where uh -huh. this happened and the attorney filed a motion to basically to compel the other side to meet for lunch, to do the meet and confer before you, you know, go to the court for help with sanctions okay. or do anything. And so the court granted it. And so he's using that opinion to try to force it here. And it's not even binding a binding opinion. It's some district level court. Uh huh. The opinion Basically he's saying everybody else is doing it. So why don't we? Well, it's one case. You think if it was something that happened a lot, that there would probably be an appellate opinion on it. But this is just a lot. Oh, yeah. Mm. Fun time. I did that a couple of days ago. It's It was no fun. Oof. No I didn't fun. think um, they had taxes in Korea. He is an American citizen. So he has so to he pay gets, the American tax? And he, gets pay, he has to pay Korean tax. Yeah. Oh, I thought... Yeah, <laughs> they gets, taxed him for being American yeah. in Korea. He gets, hit, he, gets hit, <laughs> he gets hit twice. Yeah. Mm. Well, um, well it's, I, I do not envy you because you've got it much worse than, than I. He ought to. Taxes. He ought to become a Biden. They went up to pay taxes. <laughs> well, have you thought about that? Vice is becoming a Biden. <laughs> no more taxes. <laughs> Wendy Bono, good evening, fellas. You are always so entertaining. Yes, and hopefully Shizzy will join us. I never heard from him. Hopefully he's all right. Wait. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh, I had to hear about Shizzy today. He'll watch. He'll be on here right now. And it says, I had to hear two girls talk about Shizzy today for like 30 minutes. It was. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. I was just like, ah. Oh. It was awful. So what just was hearing the praise. <laughs> they love his giggles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? Well, they are. Like he, yeah, when he giggles, I'm like, what? Hey, coyote bait sending you my weather from Oregon. I'm over it. Was it raining there? Because it's Oregon. Don't worry, it's, it's, it's coming here. Yeah, we had four <laughs> days of rain this past week. Jeez. Four we days of rain. Storms. Nothing but rain. Yeah, my, it is. It is a complete and utter just like just swamp out here right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, it she actually, uh, Bodisha, she had actually dismissed her claims, but the court has has held in abeyance uh, sanctions and fees, uh, fees and costs, because you know Clayton's they've asserted this was completely fr fraudulent from the beginning, and that he should be it's frivolous lawsuit. He should be entitled to fees and costs and sanctions. So that's. That's all set for June. Um, of course, she'll have to prove that she was she was pregnant or or believed that she was pregnant when she filed her case, which is starting to kind of uh, fall apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's starting to fall apart because the timeline keeps changing. So yeah, at what point do you just kind of go? Mm, yeah, I don't see a way out of this. Mm, okay. Uh, we're just going to say, sorry, we're just going to peace out on this one and just, you know, drop it. I know that's, that's the logical side of my brain here going, Hey, maybe if you're uh, throwing a frivolous lawsuit out there, maybe just maybe it's not a good idea. Don't do it. Um, you know, but I also know that not everybody's me. <laughs> if one is the super sticker critical hit. What's up? Thank you. D Reynolds. And Daniel Patrick, a FYI, a Red Bull, I don't know who that is, just aired a segment about me, I guess me, with allegations of misconduct, creepy behavior. Don't know who the hell that is. Huh. What that's about, because, all right, hope not true, but look bad for you. Please, I, I don't know what that's about. So, a Red Bar. Mm. Who's, who's that? I don't know who the hell that is. Sounds like a communist. Mm, I guess, is it a... I have no idea. Well, no clue. So probably nobody of consequence then. I have no idea. Is, is it a, a uh, channel? MG's married, uh, so like there's... So This guy has been doing this in all the chats for just time. Well, I don't know what that is. So if it's spam, hey, uh, I'll, I'll take the five bucks. Whatever. Send send me more. <laughs> explain 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 to me what what this is. 
<laughs> in short sentences. Yes. And yeah, and they all have to be super chats. Yes. Oh. Yes. I don't know what that's about. So. Oh, there it goes. Uh, the super chat was in two other streams. Well, you know, bring it on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, so just giving she, you money to. Uh, yeah, you know. give me money to. Because I don't. Oh, know wait a second. It. Okay, so now if you look at it, that does seem um, broken English. No, I mean it just—it's not really broken. English. I mean, it makes it because you only get so many characters. So, I mean, a red bar just airs oh, a segment yeah. about you with allegation misconduct plus creepy. Oh, I have no clue. A red bar. I don't know who that is. Whatever. I love that. Please address as soon as possible. It's like, yeah, yeah. Is that is that the big gotcha is? Oh yeah. my gosh, it's true. It's true. Oh no, my secret's out. I don't like waffles <laughs> compared to pancakes. Oh no, <laughs> pancakes are the superior breakfast product. It's true. I believe that pie <laughs> is superior to cake. Shut your mouth! <laughs> don't you talk like that around here? Well, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> Stupid pies. They're all they're just like bread with fruit in them. Unless but it's uh, you can also unless it's, um, you can make uh, chest pie. meat pies. That sounds weird. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't think I want that. Sounds like so many people waited. For, I, I did. I mean, I I waited until this week to file it. Yeah, my my wife does a lot of accounting in her day to day job, so ours were done as soon as physically possible. <laughs> like we've already got our returns and everything. <laughs> oh man, I keep forgetting. I need to ask you uh, something, uh, MG. Like what your thoughts What's on it? something? I need to ask mm -hmm. you something. Right. After, not on not on After, live. <laughs> not on live. If, if he wins, do I play, pay Clayton or his lawyer? You're going to pay Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll pay his lawyer because it's depends. if he wins. Depends on what the court awards. If he, if he if he's awarding sanctions and and a lawyer for attorney fees and all that, you'll, I mean, you'll pay Clayton and then Clayton will pay his attorney. You know, I know that that's somebody that's not actually that person, but I kind of wished that it was. It is as far as I know. Yeah, you know, law of the internet basically says that I should be I should doubt that, but you know. <laughs> He's been doing it in the law of the internet is just that everything you think isn't true is true. The internet, everything yeah. on the internet is true. It is. <laughs> Dude, when she got morning sickness and threw up the babies, it was over. Oh no. <laughs> Are they post no, did they pay legal vices for that comment as well? Hey, I'm gonna go I'm gonna turn it away. Wow. Well, how did Legal Vices answer? That's a, that's what I would want to before I did. Well, you are. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Yeah, she was in a horse show three days after her miscarriage. So either she miscarried yeah. and knew it, but filed anyway. Because apparently now she miscarried in July and she filed a August one, or she didn't know it and jumped her horse in a show after having a scare, which would be stupid because then you could have triggered another one. Right. So, horse show? Yeah, she's she she does like she rides horses. A question. Horse like Tijuana? No. Like oh. Tijuana. No, because then the uh the tonsil babies will be coming. Never mind. Man, I don't know where you're going with this. I mean, you guys, I don't trust Jack, man. Because I'll mess with you. You can't do this stuff. I'm doing. Oh, you gotta watch out for chat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there he is, Sabiches. I'm so man. tired of hearing about you. What did I do? Oh man, all I heard was you. I I heard two chicks talk about you for about 30 minutes today. Oh, that's scary. It was boring. <laughs> if you been scared in July, you definitely still have a baby bump in November. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. Uh, 
<laughs> so YouTubers have become a significant part of this story when Netflix does a movie. Who do you want? <laughs> They're not going to do it. They're not going to be a part of it. Um, I want to play my own role. Yes, same. Yeah. yeah. No, you can't. You can't play. Nobody me. can replicate me. Yeah, same. Not at all. Yeah, see. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, Chad. Hey, Teresa, the writer chick wanted to say, hey, I'm six go heading to bed. We'll get better. Hopefully, laughter is the best medicine. Hopefully, we'll have lots of it for you tonight. Hopefully. That, is, that would be nice. <laughs> I would work for cheap, too. Just like it'd be in the, the movie. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Netflix movie. Hmm. Yeah, Shizzy, evidently you have a uh, infectious giggle. Not laugh, but giggle. <laughs> giggle, huh? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> a giggle. Yes. <laughs> Just call me giggles. <laughs> Did you do that with reverb? It was giggles. Like, yeah. Giggles. No. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Oh my, oh my gosh. Yes, yes, Tug is pregnant with triplets. Well, everybody wants to make sure we know. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't Tug's first pregnancy. Red horses my whole life. It's fine. Well, Laura. <laughs> be careful with Mr. Ed there. <laughs> Ooh, Wilbur, look what I'm doing. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Whoa, they're bowling. Yeah, they won't. If she was pregnant, then they wouldn't let her jump. Yeah. Still, jump, but jump. that early on, they jump. they wouldn't have known. Because if this was July, then they, they wouldn't have known. It would, she wouldn't have been showing enough. Oh. Well, I mean... Oh, I mean, one is a donkey show, not a horse show. What, you, could, you can't What's tell the them difference? someone's throat is swollen? <laughs> Look, there's a. I'm just saying that there's a there's a big difference between a couple of days after a blowy being uh, accusing somebody of that you were pregnant and. Look, there are just some chicks that just do not present. That's where the yeah. HC I'm just saying. <laughs> you just uh, it takes longer than a few days, though. <laughs> oh. Well, it would Good show. It'd show it doesn't have to make sense, Janice. It's it's her truth. It's her truth. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep. Oh my goodness, Laura's Margot Robbie's playing me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Margot Robbie. Margot well, you're, Robbie can you're, play you're me. Brunette, so you're brunette, so it have to be Gal Gadot. Oh. Oh, oh I'm definitely in this movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Hit that oh. thumbs up like Clayton hit the tonsils. <laughs> I don't know. I was really enjoying throat. Isaac Gonzalez in the movie I saw tonight. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm pregnant with an elephant. Want to see the trunk? <laughs> oh. Oh no! Oh, dude, that's the best fat guy line I've ever heard, man. That is awesome. <laughs> well, I've done that. So I you're telling me pockets. I have a chance. I've pulled my, my my pockets out before. I was like, Here's you did one. not, dude. I thought I was the only one sick enough to do that. <laughs> no, but you, but if you're wearing pants, you just always you got to, never mind. Yeah, you pull the pants pockets never out. Mind. Like, hey. <laughs> Kiss a rabbit between the ears. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh. I love nothing more than cheesy one liner, like pickup lines. Oh, I yeah. love cheesy pickup lines. Cheesy pickup oh lines my gosh. Hilarious. I've never made my wife once laugh. Good night, Rabbit. Nah, yeah, she's I'm gone. Out. I think kill the rabbit in the ears and she Ryan Rabbit's gone. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey baby, are you a Megan Fox? Because I'm allergic to feathers. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Lord. Oh boy. Jeez. The doctor mistook her pregnancy for a goiter at first. <laughs> well, Paula's on fire, man. Just watch Paula's all night. I mean, I would do that last. Uh, last so night. Sue's, just... Sue's saying she'd have to go to a doctor to be told not to ride her jump. But she didn't ever go to the doctor. <laughs> Oh, she had no problem riding, from what I understand. <laughs> she never did. She actually didn't ride. Oh. Her mouth ain't mapping. Nope, it's not. <laughs> Legendary Racing, five Inchilaw memberships. Who got those? Let's see. Nice. Levy, Jay Leib got Rosman, Ranch, Shelly Field, Linda Lazier, and Patrick W. Congrats. You are the lucky winners. Of the YouTube membership roulette. So what kind of tonsil stones does she? Well, she has twins. We know that, Tia. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to earn your wrench, but you, you you have a wrench. Where did it go? So, I didn't take so, it away. So she had a miscarriage. Is that just because she swallowed? Or gargled? Mm. She miscarried and she, she, she threw up. <laughs> Or one of the like listering breath mints the morning after. <laughs> Ow! I hit my head. <laughs> she got hit in the head today with the football. Yeah, oh. she did. He got hit in the face with the football. Jeez. <laughs> he did a practice kick or whatever. And whenever I watched it, and then I was like, okay, Miss turn Lewis. back around. Oof. No, I don't just I wasn't televised. Yeah, it's a good thing. The ball was okay. I don't know why you don't have a wrench. Don't have a wrench. You need to talk to Laura about that. I think she 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 ate your wrench. That she did. <laughs> <laughs> she, had to, she had to tighten some nuts. God. That's what you use a wrench for. Uh, I, thought, I thought you used it. Get, get them off your chin. Loosen nuts. Mm-hmm. Just depends. Or tighten them up. No, that's that's a different... That's much later on in life. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the uh, um, viewers to start dropping down to like five. <laughs> <laughs> and there's four of us in here. So there's only oh. one other person. Oh, <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Swallowed it. Holy crap. 10 MG Law memberships. What's up? Legendary Racing wow. is the boss. Arliss Teep or TP, not sure. Lauren Bombachi. Suze. I have a story. Vanessa Gregg. Melanie Schuyler. Shinny. T. Underwood. Tara Downey. Robin Baskin. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Legendary. You ever notice a Legendary shows up when Lauren leaves and um, all of a sudden he starts throwing out gifts, Lauren. free gifts? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know what's going on. Thank you so much, Legendary. It's a boss. You, you, I look, you have a wrench in, in, the, in my community page. I, I you have it in my settings. It's there. Oh, my goodness. And she didn't think the technology to test fetal DNA in the blood existed yet for twins. Probably not. Because the uh, the fetal DNA test showed little to no fetal DNA. My dog's right. What the hell did I walk into? Well, you've walked into a madness is what's happened. <laughs> lunatic, some lunatic woman thinks that she got pregnant with twins from a couple of mouth hugs. So... Hold on, how far apart were they? The the mouth hugs? They were yeah. the same night. It was twice in one night. Oh wow. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh, he got the tool for her, hey? Yeah. So. He's got more than he bargained for with this. What's um I don't know. I'm not gonna say the yell. I was gonna say, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Hey, my dog's rock. <laughs> I just say hi as a in chat. I understand some people being upset at Bill Clinton about his BJ under the desk, but I still have never been able to get over Monica just hanging the dress in the closet with no cleaning. 
Yeah, leave it to Bill Clinton to find the one Jewish chick who doesn't have a good dry cleaner. Yeah. Well, she was she has a white cleaner. <laughs> twice in a five hour. Wow. Okay. Twice in one night. Good job, buddy. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> oh well, you know, it was uh <laughs> how does that conversation yeah. come about? It's like Hey, I'm I'm the not once pretty for each, intern. Once for each twins. That's right. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> baby. Please. Oh, that's why they were. That's what, how she said, I got triplets. Well, she said, "Oh yeah, he." Th- <laughs> <laughs> so he said he he one up her. <laughs> that's why he's called Tug. He's like, I'm not Tug anymore. <laughs> <laughs> After triplets, uh, I think he's gonna. He got he got three in one night, so that's that's funny. No, he gave three if he's pregnant. (laughs) It's twenty twenty four. It's twenty (laughs) twenty four. He's a frog. Lord. (laughs) Uh, so that so we know it. She 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 probably turkey basted it. Yeah. Yeah. What what what? She probably held on to it went to the bathroom and then put it down there major. somehow major mom i'm learning a whole new vocabulary <laughs> well, um, always learning never stop. need an urban dictionary that's a real thing that's a real thing <laughs> real thing the urban dictionary oh, the tug is losing his six-pack yep tug chug and pluck <laughs> oh, oh, I've never seen Lila before. I mean, now I'll remember her. <gasps> oh. Well, I know she was never pregnant, Mom. but that would be the only way that she would be able to. Because she at least tried. But see, like in later, t- like the text messages after that, where she's trying to, or the emails or whatever, trying to get him to like hook just to like date her and she's like you know you would you know um you and i would make a great couple somebody that uh that she he would that he would you know love because he you know like enjoy being because she's she would be so tight because she hasn't been with anyone she hasn't had sex in over like a year a year and a half well if jen had sex in a year and a half then how'd she get pregnant with his stuff <laughs> with him so they, they she didn't have told sex. you she admitted that what was that expert? <laughs> she gobbled. <laughs> Let's see, she admits that they I'm didn't have sex. So, Laura Owens, five Ooh. NG Law memberships. What's up? Thank you. Coyote Base, Jody Who, Harry Murfield, Terry Van Horn, and <sighs> Trina. Laura Owens dropping them tonight. That's right. Oh, my. <laughs> Well, you know, she would just, you know, you would think so, Nina. But she's seeing dollar signs out of this guy. He's a bachelor. Yeah. He's a, like, was a real estate agent. You know, so. So that's what I'm saying. She wanted to, like, date him so that then they would then have sex and get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know. You're introduced to us from Dave Neal. That's awesome. Nice. So he saw it, and that's that's cool as hell. Very cool. YouTube is teaching you a new way to speak. Oh man, yep. <laughs> Date her five dollars mm. and a monster drink, and you're in. Yeah, she was on the, the <laughs> Zoom the Zoom court hearing in November, drinking. She, she said a monster. She, she was drinking a monster <laughs> with a baby bump, claiming that she was one hundred percent pregnant, like 20, 24 weeks. She's drinking a damn monster. Let me tell you what, man. That's some East Tennessee stuff right there. I mean, I've seen many a pregger chick with a Mountain Dew. Oh, it's yeah. just like, man, that kid's going to come out with yeah. three legs. Yeah, it's there. She's, she told us <laughs> that if you had sex with me, you would see how tight I was. Because she had, it's like, I haven't had sex in over a year. Yeah. Look, uh, I, mean, I mean, expert, I'm pretty sure that it's not going to. I mean, there's probably just going to be like a caffeine dependency. It's not like she's hadn't had the kid in Chernobyl or something. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Nothing like it. She claims now that no, she's now just now for the first time claiming she lost the twins in July. 
but she didn't file her case till August. But she knows that she said she knew because she took pictures and sent the pictures to her sister and to a medical, uh, like a telehealth person. So she's, she would have known. So then she files August 1st. So she knows that it was fraudulent. To her timeline. And then she wears the baby bump in, in November. It's just politicians are going to have to uh, um, get it together and start creating penalties when people fake stuff like this. Yes. Yep. Oh, balls doors here. Balls I know a party when I see one. Hey. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, brother. He had to explain this. <laughs> to, <laughs> she's she's been doing stuff. her kegels. <laughs> Oh, and say grip it, rip it. <laughs> oh, snuck out of Lego now. Thanks, Aaron. That was awesome. Snuck out of Lego. Don't say anything. <laughs> 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 oh my. Oh. Well, that's because the entertainment's right here. <laughs> so let's see. You know, we left off oh, the well, other we've night. We've seen Valhalla build the same Lego. How many times now? <laughs> He does build the mm. same ones over. I over know, over. I know. I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm gonna game the uh, he does one of those uh, but... kids ones, you know, <laughs> like the ones that come in a bag or whatever. <laughs> Chewing is not Kegel exercise, that's why you have stretch marks. Oh, on <laughs> wow, <laughs> oh. somebody get some white men on that burn. Nosh was my favorite bear and bird. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> or she's just a bear because I because everybody knows birds aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I know the timeline's perfect. Like all her crap and her new lawyer, the, the douche canoe, is just he's just making it worse. And yeah, he he told he told uh, he put it on he posted online that if he found out that she was lying that he would draw. So I expect him to file a motion withdraw any day now. Because he has to know that she's lying by now. You guys should have seen my junior high school sweetheart when she was pregnant with twins. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we made we made it through what 25 pages the other night. We're in the middle of emails that just pick apart all the bullshit from, oh, geez. Uh, from the motion to compel lunch. And apparently <clears throat> we were going through about uh, the motion for sanctions that they ended up withdrawing uh, because the new attorney is just being a dick about it. I think they figured they'd withdraw the motion and just shut him the hell up. But motion to compel work. lunch so she could get pregnant again. <clears throat> well, no, she, uh, you know, he, they had filed a motion for sanctions <laughs> and apparently they allegedly didn't give the 10 day safe Harbor letter, basically tell them, Hey, here's where you have made mistakes. These are frivolous claims, pleadings. Right. You've got 10 days to withdraw it or we're filing a motion for sanctions, whether that happened or not in actuality, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's a procedural issue. So, I mean, it, basically all it would re result in, it would be the motion being denied. Right. Um, this dumbass thinks that it could be like sanctionable, which I've never heard of that. Um, but he had sent them emails basically saying how they how they did not follow the 10 day safe Harbor rule. And so there's emails back and forth where now Clayton's attorneys are kind of explaining to douche canoe where he may or may not, he may be wrong in his legal analysis. <laughs> Gravy's on the menu for lunch. <laughs> oh, 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 chunky gravy, huh? <laughs> no, no. Like sa sausage gravy. Yeah. <laughs> You're laughing as you know it's white. <laughs> it is <laughs> white, chunky, and full of sausage. Sounds There's like no me. meaning to a liquid look. Ah, that's a funny joke. Ah. Lots of pepper. <laughs> 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 
you pizza cannot get enough gravy. pepper and sausage gravy. I know. It's just oh, it's you, amazing. You, so good. You just had to pile it in there. Hashtag oh. compel lunch. <laughs> get some biscuits and gravy. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> she got her cookies tossed for lunch. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonders uh, if anyone will shitty themselves tonight. <laughs> I've already, uh, I've already drifted off to sleep at least twice. Yeah, I saw now. that. I saw the guys <laughs> like the guys glaze over. I thought you were listening you, to you, some better. You need, you need to jump off because you're about to sleep. <laughs> yeah, that. No, he needs to. He needs to do some Megan squats. <laughs> Look, I wish uh, I had Megan squats. I do, oh I do a lot of things. The squats are not uh, squats. not one of them. It was great. <laughs> I, I was playing her stream in the car one day, taking the kids, I think the Taekwondo, and I was playing it, and that came on. <laughs> Rikada clip the squats. They were cracking up. They thought it was hilarious. They wanted oh, yeah. me to play it again. I was like, no, I'm not playing it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. He's like, just move. Do anything. <laughs> Roll. What's a guy got to do to get a sand girl in this town? Well, there is this hot, crazy scale matrix. Mm. You've got to look at that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, um. <laughs> Okay, let's. So we're going. We can, we can keep reading through this. We've got like forty pages left. Hey, sounds good. Emails. Let's push it through. Let's push let's it through. It. We'll we'll do it. We're going to push it through. So let's, you 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 read it to us, Shizzy and I will. Act Shiz, like, Shizzy's um, going to do some reading too. We're going to yeah, do. I, mean, I figure we're going to act like we're going to take the role of the um, PE coaches. And then um, everybody was going to be entertained by uh, Kaiser slowly drifting off, which was going to be awesome. Yeah, you fall asleep, no. but you just you do have a, a seatbelt, right, Kaiser? A what? So you don't fall on the, on the floor? Because I think it'd be awesome. It just, wouldn't it be cute? Little, you had like little Kaiser there snoring away. <laughs> or what if we get a guy? It would be. Oh my oh, gosh, my people word. would love that Kaiser. All I, all, I mean, really, all I have to do is turn off my camera, leave the mic on. No, turn the camera. No, you gotta have the camera on. on. Gotta have the camera. Camera on, on mic off, because we don't want to hear you snore. But we, we do want to watch you sleep. You look like you just have so much fun, like you'd smile and stuff. I, mean, I cannot believe you four gentlemen are. Well, hey, don't throw that term around too loosely. Are bullying that poor <laughs> innocent Arizona? Oh woman. yeah, with the esophagus twins. Oh she my gosh. Did she go to, she so go to her, ASU? Her name is. The, the one writing this is Isabel. So Isabel. Yeah, this said, is Isabel Ring. That's uh, the new attorney. Like she's like a like a fresh attorney. She's new. Ah. Apparently. So so who is she writing to? She is sending this to Douche Canoe. Oh. Okay. And she's and you know, of course she's copied Greg Wigman. She probably should have him in the copy section in the CC, but, they but this uh, was yeah, sent on April first. She they. sent it on she sent it on April 1st. Yeah, go ahead, Reese. She's saying, David, Greg and I are both occupied, but we will be able to call you later this afternoon once Greg is out of mediation. He needs to be on a call. He sees primary in this case. Also, your quest to meet, uh, reasonable, did uh, come over the holiday weekend, and I don't think the court expects us to drop other obligations to get the phone the same way. Still, we do our best to make it happen this afternoon with it's, it's Greg has mess me oh message me whew, and with that mediation with uh, Jared uh, Sandler is uh, moving along. Here's a brief assessment of the case you cited. Please note this was uh, gleaned in roughly twenty minutes of research, and there's certainly more to follow. Is <laughs> this twenty is not, minutes of research? Yeah. Still at this. Is she like it's not really picks a apart, comprehensive. Picks apart all of his like like his cases, and oh after looking gosh. it up for twenty minutes. It is. Uh, it says uh, Rule Twenty Six differs from A A. Uh, so they said Rule Twenty Six is the family law rule on sanctions, basically, or you know, candor to the court. Basically, everything you file, uh, you're saying is true and correct, best of your knowledge. It's not for a frivolous purpose. You know that 
you know, that it has valid legal support. Um, rule 11 is generally for everything in civil procedures. So these are, they're two okay. different rules. Um, basically so say this, say similar things, but they're in different contexts. Yeah. This is just her basically doing a cut copy paste. Well, she, I mean, she, um, I mean, she did do an analysis here. Of, well, yeah, but I mean, the what she's pulled up as far as the rule itself, that's that's just cut, copy, paste that she pulled off. And then she just emboldened things that she was showing what was, you know, their, well, their argument on this. I think I mean, she... It's, it's pretty straightforward because, I mean, she's, she's yeah. you know, you don't have to do much for saying, Hey, this is, this is like 20 minutes of research and then just pulling up the information and saying, Hey, this is. Yeah. The right cases here. that he cited, you can just, you just, yeah. you know, pull up, pull up the cases he cited and look yeah, at it. Cause the court found safe Harbor uh, period it commenced when the new all defendant Simon's to see filed their motion and served the opposition. Then they filed another motion for sanctions later requesting sanctions against the same party. And then basically just pulls up the information on rule 20. Yeah. Yeah. Rule 11. It's just- yeah. So, I mean, they, they, she kind of walks through and picks it apart. And I say, cause it, and I can read mm-hmm. through this part. That's, that's not a problem. They yeah. say that they differ because it's rule 26 specifically pertains to title 25 actions, which is the family court stuff where there are numerous legal authorities for awarding fees and sanctioning litigation misconduct that do not exist in other state civil or federal civil actions. The main cases cited in the emails are Rule 11 cases with limited distinguishing facts and circumstances. Assuming arguendo, these cases apply analogously to Rule 26, which is not a fait accompli. Here are some issues with them. So the Holgate case, I I don't know where he cites those. Uh, It's a federal case regarding Rule 11, federal Rule 11, which the state Rule 11 is going to mirror it. Most states have adopted the federal rules of civil procedure. Um, so they're, they're pretty similar. Uh, in Holgate, there were three parties seeking rule 11 sanctions. The first party complied with the notice requirement rather uncontroversially and received a sanctions award award. The second, the Newell defendants filed a motion to join the prior motion for sanctions and serve the opposing attorney the day they filed the motion. The court found the safe Harbor period commenced when the Newell defendants simultaneously filed their motion and served the opposition then filed another motion for sanctions, later requesting sanctions against the same party. The court found that he received sufficient notice and affirmed the sanctions. This is very similar to Clayton's motion for leave to amend, in which he discusses in writing the intent, the intent to have sanctions under Rule 25 or Rule 26, and then the later motion for sanctions more than 10 days after serving the motion for leave to amend. So he filed a motion for leave to amend. <laughs> Within that says... Is it really small for you to read? I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's, I'm going to make it bigger. Make it bigger. Of course, now it's getting like kind of blurry. Yeah. No, that's that's <laughs> that's much easier to read. I was like, hey, it's so, so, so small. It's so small. It's so small. It's so tiny. <laughs> so, that's why I was laughing. <laughs> I can't say it. It's so small. It's like uh, tiny Vienna sausage. <laughs> it, it like, it's so it's cute. A, so what what part are we starting at? Motion for well, so if the motion for leave to amend serves as a written notice, as the initial motion in Holgate did for the Newell defendants, there is no error, and Flutbag received adequate notice. Yeah. Note that she also moved to dismiss her complaint during that time. So not only did she know a sanctioned motion was forthcoming, she attempted to withdraw the complaint. The court denied the motion to withdraw and preserved the fees and sanctions claims, as Rule Forty Six allows. Only the last claimant in Holgate, called Community Bank, had their sanctions award overturned on improper notice, and that claimant had waited 10 months after the other parties filed their motions, sanctions, sanctions motions to take action. By the time they filed, the attorney against whom they sought sanctions had been withdrawn from the case over five months. The court said this was too long because the attorney had no power to counsel his client to withdraw the offending complaint by the time the sanctions were requested. Yeah, <clears throat> makes sense. So, yeah. I don't understand. It's, so then Barber is a Ninth Circuit case, basically probably saying a lot of the same thing. Parties seeking sanctions <clears throat> filed their motion after the complaint was already dismissed without complying with the notice requirement. 
The court found that <clears throat> failing to comply with the safe harbor defeated the motion and declined to treat the award as one given by the court's own motion because the rule does not allow the courts to take this action after judgment. There was no evidence in the record the court would have made a sanction on its own as a show cause order because that would only occur in sanctions akin to, to contempt of court. So there's... So then the court's inherent authority and statutory authority under federal law did not provide a basis for sua sponte sanctions because those would both require a finding of bad faith that the court expressly declined to make. Judge Mata has not yet made any findings regarding bad faith, but they are before the court and she has all the information necessary to make such a finding. So he's just picking, they're just picking apart. Yeah. The guy, I mean, just clearly. Yeah. Gallagher's a trial case and not binding precedent, but the analysis given therein is relevant. Gallagher says the safe harbor of Rule 11 are construed strictly and failure to comply defeats the motion. Further says a mere demand to dismiss a case and a threat to seek sanctions does not constitute compliance. With the notice, because it does not give specific notice of the offending conduct or the 10 days in which to withdraw or appropriately correct the alleged violations. Slutbag did have specific notice and more than 10 days to correct after the motion for leave to amend. And she did, in fact, attempt to correct by moving to dismiss the petition. And the court declined. Same thing, preserved it, the court preserved the sanctions and fees issue. The court also rejected an independent allegation of an entitlement to sanctions under 12 350. This must have been in the Gallagher case, is what I'm guessing. Yeah, there, she's she's um, basically just said, "Hey, yeah. we'll 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 flesh this out further." And, yeah, and just get a well, and, 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 and they could, I said, they could have fought, um, because he filed a, a motion to extend, like Dushkanu had filed a motion for additional time, right. um, to respond to the motion for sanctions, um, right. basically trying to flesh out. You know, and it was like thirty nine pages was his motion, which I'm sorry. Okay. He's claiming he didn't have enough time to get caught up on the case in order to file a response. And I'm sorry, if you've got time to draft, to prepare and, and, and draft and file a 39-page motion, you've got time to read your file and catch up on things. Yeah, unless you already <laughs> had that filing prepared ahead of time. Yeah. <laughs> well, you had God. enough to do it. So here's, oh, is this the same? Are they backwards no. or are they in order? Yeah, these are all backwards. Shit. Are they backwards? See, they did this with the with the damn. Um, oh, she's just Jesus. Our complaint too. It's all stuff. backwards. So because this you, is, yeah, I know you're not going to concede to Rule 26 B. Yeah, this is from Dushkanu to Woodnick. So, so we're obviously going to have to litigate that point. I've provided you with substantial case law that will directly refute your comments below, and your response says nothing to contradict this. That's not surprising because we both know your position on this is wrong. It's just wrong. It's sanctionable. I'd like to get this issue up front as a judge immediately because he's going to be disputative. And it's also going to save a ton of time and fees for your sorry ass parties, which we might be asking for a court to hold you personally responsible for because I'm a douche canoe. So it's only your best interest not to drag this out like her face longer than necessary. It's in order for me not to delay any further, we need to discuss this today. I mean, today, not tomorrow, not next week, but today. Since both of our positions are pretty firm, just like her throat, I think it should require about 30 <laughs> seconds of time on the phone. There's no reason you can't <laughs> step out of your stupid-ass mediation for one minute to speak with me. I mean, you need to call me now, today, today, not tomorrow, not next week, but today, not, not 30 minutes from now, but right now. So please let me know when you'd like to do this, assuming that Isabel is not available. If you refuse to talk, that's fine. I'll just explain that to the court in my certificate because you can't ignore my sorry little ass. I give you clear explanation of my position, which is usually with my hands or my ankles and my butt in the air. And I think you've made your position quite clear as well. And I don't think we have anything further to discuss, but in order to comply with rule nine, I'd like to speak with you either you or Isabel today. Yeah, well, Isabel's not going to talk. Not no. going to talk on the phone because Greg is the lead attorney. 
Well, he's not the lead. He's the lead on the case. He's not the lead attorney. There's only one lead attorney. <laughs> 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 and he wouldn't put up on his bullshit either. I would love his take on it. He does. He did. He did family law in, in Georgia. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh yeah, she could. She could be found if, if she truly was pregnant and had a miscarriage. You have a certain way you're supposed to dispose of those things. Yeah, we'll see. Depending on how far along they were. <laughs> oh, David, oh, I appreciate that you ex- your that? effort to excise from this mess she caused, but we strongly disagree with your analysis on Rule Twenty Six, which is. Legally distinct from Rule 11 is several important ways. If this thinks you'll stop her exposure to sanctions, then we welcome you. Their motion to strike and will respond accordingly. That said, I'm more than happy to coordinate and meet and confer with you, but I will have, uh, it'll have to be tomorrow. So I'm in mediation with uh, Jared Sandler today. And and I, I sit on the Supreme Court Rules Committee, uh, appointed by Judge Bales and specifically. <laughs> help write speak. the rule. That address rule twenty six, and sir, I am I am confident that there are a myriad of legal and factual issues here. We will uh, not be withdrawing any of our motions as sanctions are uh, more than warranted. So, without diving too deep into the issue, here are a couple of uh, quick comments. Uh, one, he, the slut bag had notice. And if you only look at our motion to leave to amend, it contains detailed allegations about Rule twenty six on pages five through six of the amended answer. And, the motion for sanctions was not filed until January 3rd, so she was given written notice of the specific Rule 26 allegations more than 10 days before filing <laughs> the, uh, the motion for leave to amend. There's also several uh, emails and communications with uh, slut bag and parade of uh, other attorneys uh, that meet with the same criteria. Well, slut bag would not have been able to withdraw her petition. Dismissing the entire petition after a response has been filed requires either agreement of both parties mm-hmm. or approval of the court after a motion to dismiss. Well, she filed a motion to dismiss before the motion for sanctions, which the court denied and expressly preserved the claims for attorney fees and sanctions. This is consistent with Rule 46 1B. Court may dismiss petition on such terms and conditions as the court deems proper, including the resolution of any claims by the responding party. So, you know, asshole, we can talk more about this over the phone, but I'll just save you the full legal analysis, including responding to the reference rule 11 case law, which is neither directly on point nor an English to rule 26, which is intertwined with title 25 actions against legal, legal dis- distinguishable. I'd also be, uh, I'd also briefly point out that rule 26 permits that the judge to move for sanctions on his own upon finding a bad faith by a slut bag. I'm confident that Judge Mata has all the authority she needs to enter sanctions against Slutbag based on the numerous filings that she signed that were both woefully improper and predicated on fraud. Now, Slutbag's efforts would be better spent complying with the uncontroversial loop rules like Rule 49 disclosure. Our, our experts are waiting for <laughs> miscarriage photos and simply name the doctor that she sent the image to per her testimony. Well, Brian Neumeister is prepared to examine the images as well. And you said you had the information and well, they're beyond overdue rule per rule 49. And I trust you saw the discussion between slut bag Corey and the judge on the issues of the alleged miscarriage in our most recent status conference. Again, this is, this is not about you, sir. You are a moron and have been nothing but professional, and we appreciate it. But well, we have filed these conversations with her prior attorneys. We've been in front of the judge, and we now have all the all the all three proceedings before Judge Mata, or at least the uh, third should be in route uh, after our recent motion. And I have also attached the unredacted email to so and so's. You know, this prior attorney in the in the. Uh, uh, something or other, which Corey was copied on, and you still like to meet and confer. Well, I, I can find time tomorrow. <laughs> you have a good one. Oh me. goodness! <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got more uh, memberships here. Legendary Racing gifted another five. Volstorm nice. got one. Don Marie, April Lowry, Auntie H, and Debbie Marie got those. Thank you so much, Legendary. She disposed of biohazard waste by swallowing. Oh. <laughs> Paula. 
Her lawyer is like, if you hired a beta version of an AI lawyer and it escaped the lab in phase B. Oh. 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 (laughs) Plan B. (laughs) Yes. He didn't escape during plan B. Hashtag slut bag. That's right. (laughs) I I wasn't going to put that in my, my stream description. Slut bag. <laughs> that, might, that might have caused a problem with YouTube. Yeah, that might uh, that might not play very well with uh, YouTube policy. <laughs> so, so we're, some of us are waiting for Kaiser to not off again. <laughs> <laughs> and legendary with you. another ten. You're gonna be waiting a while. So much, dude. Who got these? Kaiser's the, the pineapple is loose. He's not falling asleep. Pi- I, you know, I, I I took a little have a little power nap here. I'm good. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. B Bean, Jude, Curio, Danielle, Little D, Danielle, Island, Island in the stream. Ruth Ann, Texas Jen. I didn't I haven't seen Mexican in chat tonight. Uh, Terry, um, American yeah. Wolf and Thrifter, yeah, Cheryl West, from. Crazy Old Fart, and Ken Powers. <laughs> <laughs> these people <laughs> yeah and he has the nerve to say that Clayton didn't comply with discovery <laughs> exactly he must have uh, on June he must have a prior commitment on June 10th and will postpone anything yeah he's he's gonna do everything he can to try to postpone it and the judge I don't think she's she's not having it not having it at all nope <laughs> I gifted four memberships four wrenches memberships tonight. <laughs> I told you, you're gonna have to go get it back from from Laura Owens. She, I think she stole it from you. You better be careful. She she get, takes she took your wrench. She's gonna claim she's pregnant before you know it. <laughs> she took your snap on. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to. Oh get yeah. Knock off. <laughs> My dollar says Kaiser bounces his head off the desk. <laughs> No, nah, he's got one of those uh, wrist <laughs> that's pads. God, that's God's name. gel. Yeah, I got the I got the nice little um, you know neoprene mat here. I got the you know little wrist rest for my uh, keyboard. I'm good. <laughs> Not to mention, like you know, if I go like right down here, my my microphone is like right here. Oh, that no. microphone first. <laughs> We're like a poof. What you'll go? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> It's like what I can't, I can't, I can't hear, hear you. you. I can't hear you. <laughs> we don't have to wake up, Kaiser. We'll take him to Red Lobster. <laughs> All right, I'm. I uh, okay. Yep. Uh, he's getting timed out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, twenty-four hours is a short time, Red right? Red Lobster is so nasty. <laughs> so nasty. Ah. <laughs> My wife was asking today how that happened. She's like, no, wait a second. <laughs> I was like, I know, I know. It was, he's the only person I know that can like have the exact same story, but it's two different locations. And when you figure out the location's different, it, his story makes sense. But like he was going with it, and it was over here. And she's like, You sure it wasn't over here? I was like, ah, he's got the receipts. Literally. Yeah. He think he wants to Clayton to think this is just the beginning, not the end. I hope have hope in Mata, Judge Mata teach him a lesson. Hopefully she can. I mean, he's <laughs> legend. It's Kaiser's looking like me. It's hour sixteen of a seventeen-hour drive. Say <laughs> so y'all are awful concerned about me. Why didn't tonight? I become Lars next attorney? Well, one, I don't do I do not do family law, and I'm not I'm not like because he's happily married. Licensed in Arizona <laughs> either. Uh, Laura Owens gifted a membership. Awesome. Who got that one? Boots on the ground. Wonderful. What was Laura going to name the kids? You know, she came up with names. Well, I mean, BJ's got to be one of them. Oh. 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 <laughs> wow. wow. That was, that was tasteless. So oh, was it? Never mind. <laughs> Maybe he had pineapple juice. Who knows? Well, it was salty. 
Exactly. Oh, Lord, that's going to be a... one oh. girl that gave them a bobbin and they're wondering, do I have a throat baby out there somewhere? <laughs> a throat baby. <laughs> My gosh, Paula. She is. I'm telling you, man, just watch Paula whenever you see her come. She needs to get an avatar that's really easy identifiable. Right? Just stay with that, though. You can't change once you do that. And she probably went and scraped her throat with a tongue to print her. Do that. Oh, that's so sick. Oh. No, what you want, like one of those like wooden sticks? So is that how she masturbates? Is that how she masturbates? She just gets a tongue scraper. Well, be being. Now you just get like one of those, uh, one of those like uh, squeegee things, like a paintball gun. You just like. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Took took it away for not gifting enough (laughs) memberships. Laura Owen stole it. Rut row. She took it. She took it all. She took it all away from you. Dollar ninety nine. What does this button do? It's a super sticker. Did you have like a? I think so. <laughs> it's right down here. Something because this. No, oh, maybe it's not a super. It's not a super sticker. Oh, it would tell me in chat it was. What does this button do? I don't know. <laughs> Hashtag tramp stamp lawyer. <laughs> we have lots of tramp stamp uh, <laughs> suggestions, but it's a different different theme to those. Legendary That's five in law memberships. Who got this one? Noah one Perry, Angel, just another Cajun Joe, Keith Gibberson or Gibberson, not sure, and Watchdog. <laughs> That's weird. <clears throat> Let's see. Some channels join isn't an option on some phones. If it's an iPhone, I don't think you can join at all from iPhones. Um, you have what to go is? to your computer to join joining as, as a member. I yeah, don't I think can you can do on. it through iPhones. Mm-hmm. I did. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Pineapple should avoid falling asleep. Paris Hilton or Mr. Slay might stop. <laughs> oh, national dumbness. I love that episode. Oh, oh my God. Let me winks. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mexi- Mexigen doesn't love us anymore. She never shows up. She's saving uh, up for May. Or may not. Yeah, well. Yeah. Did we did we cover the true story of a real oral pregnancy? That I had never heard of that. No. Nope. Oh, oh yeah. African they, somebody oral was pregnancy? talking about that in chat the other night. Where was I at? It's, uh, that's right. Nothing like a glad story is finally getting some attention per day. Well, Megan Fox is the one that I've seen her covering it. And she's like, you got to look into this one. So this is nuts. So I've been <laughs> going on and plenty of nuts. <laughs> literally. Is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> all of them get, Ooh, yeah. yeah. She, she, she tried, she like sued him. She like when she's going after Dave Neal too. Uh, oh, geez. She sent, I think she sent a cease and desist to law talk with Mike because he played one of the court proceedings, one of the court hearings. Screw her. I'd like to get I'd like it. Send me a cease and desist because I'm reading that shit on air. Oh god, yes. <laughs> and, my, and my response letter might just be a big ass middle finger made out of ASCII characters. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> if you say, if anybody sends me anything, there's a good chance I'll never read it. <laughs> no, no, I mean there's like a 90% right. plus chance I'll never read it. It's all right. I, I have I have I have the uh the response to all of them. Was any other attorneys loaded on whether he was always like this? I don't know. I've never heard of the guy. So, um, whether he, because someone, yeah, someone has to know if this guy is always like this. But he, he is the Conor McGregor of, lit, of litigation. So, of litigators. Be careful. Kaiser hates that guy. <laughs> yeah. I do Kaiser not. Take him down. Just, Zach, for shizzy to keep that shirt on. Damn right. <laughs> Somebody was throwing money in the chat for me to take my shirt off. <laughs> for Kaiser to take his shirt off, Teddy. <laughs> You're gonna need to pay up a little bit more than that, and it's going to need to come to me, not MG. But you know, we're on MG's no, show, so but it's his Bobby and jeans. You have Bobby and jeans. You have B and J. All it all it takes for me <laughs> is twins names. Is the first scare cam. 
That's all it takes. Ah, ah, ah. No. <laughs> Dude, balls are... Ah, oh, man, never mind. I'm not going to say it. You can only get those during Friday Night Live, though. <laughs> She, she's gonna call. She's gonna call him a little squirt. <laughs> oh, dude! Oh. Hey, what's up, squirt? <laughs> yeah, Laura. What are you gonna name? You gonna name them Tarzan and Jane? Yeah, they are. That she was told at eight weeks or something crazy, something like six or eight weeks that she was pregnant with twins uh, and that they were for, they were one boy and one girl. Ooh. At a timeline where it's biologically and scientifically impossible for someone to look at a sonogram and determine and, and say this is a boy and this is a girl, it's oh, wow. all impossible. Doesn't happen. Why not? It's if all you, from the beginning. But if you believe, I doubt she even went down to this guy. She so seems like a liar. I'm gonna send that for free. <laughs> Members, <laughs> memberships. Thank you for being a member, Zach. <laughs> I always forget. I always forgot about that too. So you're saying her tongue was lying. (laughs) (laughs) How do I get a member chat that says I have MG's member? <laughs> you get one free. You get one member chat. One uh, free uh, member chat a month. Oh, and you can give out memberships too. Can I cannot give out oh, memberships because right. I'm a brand account. And YouTube that's hates right. me. Mm. YouTube is <laughs> just yeah. Just on the iPhone, you have to it. go to a browser. <laughs> you can't use the, the app. Oh. Yeah, if you just go into your browser, then it does it. Scott's cat gifted five MG Love memberships. Thank you so much. Who got those? Kate D, Don McKean, Snarkasm, Kathy Trout, and Jocelyn Corkle. Thank you very much, Scott's cat. Everybody, thank him or her. I'm not sure. Scott's cat. It's a her. It's a kitty cat. It's a her. It's Scott's. Trying cat to see what her. the cat's wearing. Well, I, I, I've is already. Scott a her or is Scott's cat a her? No, Scott's cat Scott's. is a her. Because so Scott's I, not a her. They basically no. ignored it. Yeah. Scott's cat is a her. Are there two hers or one her? No, it's just I don't know. I'm so I don't it's Schrodinger's cat gender or something. It's been her. Been her. <laughs> I was not gifted one, but even if I was, I should still still should get MG's member chat. That's true. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh. Well, I do have the bar. Nice. I have the bar complaint that she filed against Woodnick. I do have that. It is ninety something Woodnick. pages of like oh, emails, and, and the thing is, is it starts, and I didn't realize these did that too. We should start at the very freaking bottom of the emails and work their way up because they're you know. We well, could do that. Order. Did they do oh. all of them backwards? This probably is what's happened. Is these are all. Like, this look is, at the very the very last one and see. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was just going through here. April. That's mm, April 4th. We were just reading April yeah, 1st. Yeah, we were just reading April 1st. So yeah. those okay. were in, in reverse order. 2024. Yeah. And we were reading that one. We just did that. I think we finished that one. Yeah. Yeah. Then this one is just. Mm, I don't know who, if somebody sent an email. Yeah, Douche Canoe sent something to them. It doesn't have the timestamp on it. It may just be a reply or something. I don't know. Well, it just, yeah, it just says that uh, the response filed by Alexis, she raised this issue properly. Uh, he tries to. Briefly. Yeah. Yeah, he's trying to claim that, that they didn't give the proper 10-day notice. Yeah, that's all that they're complaining yeah. about. But he's like... I was uh, trying to see if he like tries to like threaten them with anything. Obviously, Clayton did not comply, and I guess I'm missing. No, uh, it doesn't. Yeah, it just looks like they're just 
bitching and moaning over the over the yeah you missed something that's you did miss something you missed that the cases that you cited are are bullshit that they might they might be applicable in other circumstances but so here's an april 4th and and this is this is a douche canoe well let's see if there's so what time was that one this because we may have to go to the bottom and work our way up yeah 130 1256 922. I can't Jesus. even read the damn date on that. Smaller, April 8th. Smaller. So that's it the next. Like April 8th. So that's the next day. So, good Lord. Who the so, hell sends fucking emails this long? I never, I have never sent an email that long in my entire career. I mean, I've been practicing 15 years. Yeah. I well, have I've sent some that emails, might be. That, I mean, yeah. So that's, that are, that's I've that's never right. sent emails. Woodneck is 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 the douche canoe, right? No, no, no. Douche canoe is why is a uh, is censored, is blocked out. Greg oh, Woodneck okay. is Clayton's attorney, Clayton's lawyer. Uh, okay, so so douche canoe writes, Greg, prepare to be surprised, but for once, I'm not going to be a jerk. <laughs> yeah, now I'm surprised. I'm going well, to show you, I can be reasonable. Well, at least sometimes. Here's the deal. You keep asking to tone things down. Honestly, I do share that view. And let, let's see if we can do that. Here, here's what I'm asking. You submit, you submitted your order to the court on the MTC. And obviously, I'm uh, guessing you're planning to apply for fees. I, I don't want you to do that right now. Just hold off because it'll, it'll cause a- additional unnecessary work for both sides. I think we can avoid it j- just uh, through a very minimal compromise. And, and that compromise I offer is this proposal. Sorry, <laughs> I need to scroll no, down. <laughs> Don't apply for fees right now. If if you win at trial, I can ask for all the fees you want, including the MTC fees. In fact, you can basically say the MTC ruling entitles you to all the part of the fees without having to find or frivolous or whatever under under this subsection. So basically, I'm not asking you to give up anything other than the right to seek fees now. Now, now you can do that in like 60 days whenever the case is over in return for you not seeking fees right now. I will agree that you you not bring a motion asking for relief from the MTC or or, or, or on the basis of, of, of fraud. Like, like I said, I'm not happy about what I have recently learned, but if we can avoid fighting over that new issue just now, it would be helpful for both sides. <laughs> also in return for you not seeking fiends right now, subject to your right to seek them later, Douche Canoe will go, or, or Slut Bag will go ahead and comply <laughs> with the MTC order today. To be fair, she says, most of the stuff you are asking for does not exist. Mm -hmm. So this is not a huge concession on her part, but at least it is something. And, and of course we got a bonus point, just like she took a bonus shot to the face in effort to be even more reasonable. I will also throw out, or like she threw out the baby of the bathwater, uh, something else because you've already deposed slut bag and, and because uh, (laughs) some of what she uh, discloses may raise new questions, uh, uh, what if we were uh, to schedule a conference call with uh, you, me, and Slutbag, and ask, and you could ask some follow-up questions about anything new that she gives you. T- to be clear, Slutbag hasn't actually authorized me to make that part of the offer, but she has shown herself to be completely open. Or, I mean, she yeah. just opens oh, it she's up. Open, all right. What part of she gargles open? just. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, and, and reasonable at every stage. She's very honest. Reasonable and honest. (laughs) She's so honest and reasonable. She's so reasonable and honest that she appears to be an open book. Well, at least she opens her legs. At least since I've been involved, I'm sure she would be willing to do the call provided we uh, limit it to some reasonable amount of time. And and yes, I I know phone calls aren't as formal as a a depo. So what? That really doesn't matter now. There's a big difference. Are they going to put her under oath on the cell phone on the phone call? Yeah, no. there's a big the difference. Bag is, is, an, is an available witness, so if you don't need to admit her depo testimony at trial, except for well impeachment. My my point is, <laughs> yeah. even if a phone call doesn't give you the admissible testimony, it still gives you helpful information you can use to decide your next steps. If you have questions and points 
you know, if questions and it points you in the right direction to where you want to confirm her answers, that would save you time and money of a depot. Well, it's so expensive. Plus, this court reporters are overpaid anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. So I just don't want to waste those costs. I mean, think about this and let me know. Uh, you know, it's it, its tone will remain down. Uh, Deuce Canoe Esquire. <laughs> Come on, uh, he's the fun Conor McGregor and telling this guy's using his name. Yeah, it's on his web. <laughs> it's on his um his Twitter, I think. Oh, I think God. it's his Twitter page. Oh, so so it. what is the response that they send to him? Because this response has got to be insane. It's, it's on somewhere. I know he has it somewhere that he claims that he's the Conor McGregor of, of uh litigators. So, so scroll up to, to the uh, attorney's response. I want to read this. Yeah, I will. That's just, just so trying to look insane. For dumbass. So I know he has it somewhere. But he, he has stated it before. We yeah. read that the other night, I thought. Yeah, it's on, it's on yeah. his website. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to scroll up to here. But I was going to scroll through some chats. I'm way behind here. Holy shit. Holy Let's, cow. Legendary racing with 20, 20 in Chilaw memberships. Good Lord, dude. <laughs> gotta, gotta find it here. There you go. Where is it? Gotta go through them. Diane Cook, Don Wittenhagen, Niagara, Nancy, Lisa Bradley, Shelby Girl, 66 GT350. Sweet. Jane Shrett, Valhalla. He always, he gets a gift of membership on everybody's streams. Steve Keat. Canada is watching. Georgia Bunny, Linda McDaniel, Ariel, Chip, Gail Combs. I wonder if Ariel's a redhead. And is a mermaid. Because uh, expert would be being interested in that too. Gail Combs, Denise Holmes, eyes wide open. The OP, Jesse McLaverty, Deborah Mellinger, and Stephanie Trotzi. Thank you so much, Legendary. It's awesome. You, I just realized, like, you've been gifting memberships like crazy, and every 25 normally every $75, I do a shot. So I've got three shots I need to do here. It's, it's, with super chats and memberships, I'm like, shit. I brought it in here tonight. I've got my Glenn Livett, Founders Reserve, and the Angel's Envy. So here's my second Glenn Livett. Hmm. That's good stuff. It really is. If this would have happened in Polk County, Judge Manning would have ripped her staff for playing April Fool's drinks. <laughs> Breaks, this can't be real. <laughs> she would not put up with this shit. That was crazy. Yeah, she hasn't had other tonsil pregnancies, but she has claimed, made this same claim of being pregnant when she wasn't with previous people and then getting pretend abortions. But yeah, it's she's, Almost as she's, if she has a type. Obviously. Well, she went after um Bachelor. I'm trying to think of who else. There's somebody, the victim zero is patient victim zero is somebody who's he's in Northern California, I think in the San Francisco area now, but apparently he is extremely well off and is well and, and is known. I don't know who it is. Um, it seems like he's been doxxed in some of these um, communications, something that that this that I think this new attorney doxxed, like put his name in some pleading or in a message or something. So his name's out there. I just don't remember who it is. Teddy O'Hearn, five in GLA memberships. Thank you so much. Cindy Olson. Sir Frank Otter, Luna D, G-Con 7, and Frosty Pepper, AK. Must be Alaska. Frosty Pepper, Alaska, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, Valhalla. Freaking Valhalla got a membership. He never gives anything. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah. killing the memberships. Thank you so much, everybody. I've got another... Got another one I gotta do. This this gets me caught up here. Ooh, almost overflowed. <laughs> that would have been bad. I've done that before. Because I can't see in it. I couldn't I didn't want to make too much noise getting the shot glasses out. So I have this one. We got on our honeymoon. It's a 
It's a loving cup. We got on our cruise. So we We're going to get you a Dollywood shot glass. <laughs> so, I'm going to drink my water. I always drink water. But then I'm basically, yeah, three memberships for the next one. So, I'm getting close to the next shot. Jeez. What do, what is it? What do, what does Roman Lar call, what would, what a gladiator. <laughs> oh my goodness. Almost feels like a membership drive. Well, legendary is, is the man. He, he, does, every now and then he, he goes crazy with this stuff. It's awesome. And you guys, he is a race car driver and put your, um, did he win today? Maybe. Uh, he's, you know, he does race, um, short track stuff. He does. I think he's got a, you do. I think he has a cash app or a, a buy me a coffee. One of those two, uh, post that, post that in the chat. I know somebody has it. He, I know he has it. How many times you claim to be pregnant? Oh, uh, it's like f- at least three or four times now. Yeah. Yeah, she filed a bar complaint against her previous attorney because the attorney wanted her to sign admitting she was never pregnant because the attorney knew the truth. It was the reason the attorney and when she and she had to withdraw because um she had withdrawals from him. She had she had to when she withdrew from the case. She had to because oh. she can't allow a, you know some her client to perpetrate a fraud on the court and state no you know known lies you, you can't do it you have to if she's intent on doing it then you you have to withdraw you just can't do it twins names neil and bob that's <laughs> someone up, or up there earlier was bell and horatio <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah let's see Oh, wait. Legendary Racing has become a member. Thank you so much. Since YouTube wasn't being happy, because yeah, I want to say that I've seen at least three or four times where the person gifting memberships gets a gifted membership. It does not like it with Legendary. Oh. <laughs> Damn, I still don't have my walk-in music for this for this stupid cat, but that's cats at the door, so give me just a second. If you want to start reading Shizzy, you can. Yeah, he'll take care. Of, he'll take care of the class. Love this. this is the best he's ever read. Four score and seven days ago, I went down the street. I think you're muted, Chizzy. <laughs> While I appreciate your right to speak on all issues, I'm deeply uncomfortable with the tone you're using in emails to my office on Twitter and in your uh by uh blog sorry uh comments like i am the common connor mcgregor of litigation and i i look forward to reading their obituaries really invokes something extremely unpleasant using the term special ed in a derogatory way is also not something i'm comfortable with either uh, as a lawyer and, and and as a as a parent and the I've never tweeted in my life. There are certainly passionate followers of this case from Bachelor Nation due to your client bringing the matter to the world's attention. That said, I was forwarded some of your postings over the past few days as well as your recent blog post, and I'm just not sure why you're engaging with them. Uh, Obviously, we don't. Um, I'm also not certain why you're publishing court documents and your client's personal medical records contrary to court's order. Now, Slutbag needs to comply with the order and provide disclosures, and the court will probably give us a few weeks to submit a China doll affidavit. Or I'm guessing it may just uh, may just tell us fees abide trial, and that will be up to Judge Matta. You have a good one, douche canoe. <laughs> no, kitty. <laughs> Jump standing. Comes right Dave. down in my feet. It's. Oh, <laughs> Right. Actually, guys, I think Listen. I'm going to go ahead and bow out for the night. I'm yes. Yeah. All that. right, brother. I want you to Where are you going, guys. Kaiser? Take, take care. He just yeah. got here. And of course, he, 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 bye, guys. I think I've seen him, man. The pineapple is loose.
That's 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 not what his hand is doing. It's not shocking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's doing God. something else under the desk. <laughs> <laughs> it might be shocking to you. <laughs> yep. All right. Have a good night, guys. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh he says uh he says greg thank you for your email your uh words are noted i'm obviously a passionate person and my words sometimes reflect that i do my best to remain professional with you i'm, I'm not allowed to be upset when i see something i think crosses the line uh am i am i allowed to be upset when i see something crosses? oh that's what it is i i, I don't want to escalate the the debate you know, because I'm a moron and I'll lose. But as much as you may have concerns about my words, I don't care. I also have concerns about your conduct. Lying to me and or lying to the court are much more serious problems than me tweeting comparisons uh, to an MMA star. But you asked, asked, asked to tone down stuff, and I, I agree with that view. So I'm, I'm not going to push the issue further a moment unless you give no choice. So, so give me another choice. As for other points, uh, you mentioned a, a few comments. First, I, I'm a, I am aware of no court order that would stop Slutbag from publishing her own medical records. Yes, I'm aware Wrong. there's a minute entry order dated to 2124 that says, so, among other things, no party shall disclose outside of themselves oddly worded any medical or other documentation disclosed between the parties. I was obviously not present when that order was entered, so I may not have the full context, but my reading of this, Slutbag discloses medical records to you. You can't share them publicly, and if Clayton shares the records with us, we can't share them publicly. Well, and that's typical, and I know how I, I, I read the court's order if my reading is correct, and it doesn't prohibit but, uh, Slutbag from posting her own medical mm -hmm. records, which she did solely to rebut false claims from your side that no such records existed. There's nothing nefarious or improper about this except we weren't supposed to be doing it. And if you interpret the order to mean that Slutbag is somehow enjoined from publishing her own records for the purpose of responding to false statements on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all those kind <laughs> no, of places. are not making false statements <laughs> other people are making including dave neal who clayton is clearly working with you know who dave neal is he's working with clayton you need to let me know that immediately so i can take the issue up with the judge there's a very there's a very clear case law on this uh this this there that their issue and, and and the court could never issue such an order which is why i give the minute the minute entry order a narrower reading any broader reading would, you know, she'd swallow it and would make the other older order unconstitutional. In, in fact, the order would be void, abhid intro, meaning it would simply be ignored. And I know this because I've uh, litigated the identical issue in other cases. Uh, for example, see the Phoenix Newspapers, Inc. for the Superior Court in Arizona, uh, holding, or, holding order prohibiting disclosure of details of court hearing violated Arizona Constitution was yeah, but, void. But wait a second. But that's disclosure of details of a court hearing. Since right. the court hearings themselves are public, like, yeah. yes, that yes, that is a clear violation of the Constitution. Yes, Superior this Court has no authority to foreclose the right of the people to press uh, and the press from freely discussing and printing the proceedings held in open court, <laughs> but not the it details. Has nothing to do with this. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <sighs> Douche canoes medical records were, or slut bags medical records were. Oh shot. God, or filed in the pleading submitted to the court in which the public record there is no protective order against this nor would there be any basis for one so anyone is free to share that information with the public which is all that i did secondly you may not believe this but i want to make sure it's perfectly it's clearly explained Slutbag does not want to fight this battle with you guys. She would strongly prefer it to stop all the insanity immediately, like today, like not tomorrow, not next week, but today. Now that I've had an entire 10 days to catch up, I can see why people like Dave Neal would not want this because mm. he's making money by mm. exploiting the situation. Oh, I, I want you to keep going, buddy. <laughs> but it's a dream for him. This case has provided Dave with endless content. And, and when you're a social media guy like Dave, content is literally the same thing as money. Well, no. It's cheap. <laughs> 
<laughs> it, well, it's too bad he's going to lose a lot of money when when Slipbag sues him. Good luck but with that. But that's a discussion I'll have with him secretly. Good luck with that. If Clayton wants the public fighting to stop, great. Let's make that happen. Let's resolve this today. Slutbag is happy to do that. And if we resolve this, I will never post another word about it, and neither will she. The oh, only shit. thing holding us back right now is Clayton. He's the one that caused all this. Just yeah. because she swallowed him, she got knocked up. It's Clayton's fault. <laughs> Because she wants to drop it, but he won't drop it. Yeah, someone said, "Why is it?" I don't know why they um, whited out his name. We know who it is. It's Dushkin, yeah. but yeah. Um, so I don't. I don't know. He is. He is. A, <laughs> he knows he's doing shot stream. You know, it, it, my typical thing is it's a set, aggregate seventy five per shot. I've 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 been doing that, so um, I haven't really had to do that. But tonight, with all the memberships and everything, I figured I owe it. So this is I'm this almost is, it's almost there to another one. I'm, lawyers are allowed to drink alcohol. <laughs> <We'd>, <laughs> we would explode if we couldn't. Uh, what do you mean? Good evening, just found us. I mean, thank you so much, Lynn. Nice. <laughs> oh my so, uh, god! As long as we don't drink alcohol while we're in court. Well, I actually had an attorney on the other uh, side one day. I am pretty damn sure he was drunk because I could smell the damn alcohol on him. And he had a bottle, he had a bottle of water. It wasn't water. <laughs> it was Russian water. Oh, yeah. Do he, a was, good job? he was drunk. Huh? Did he do a, <clears throat> did he do a good job? Oh, hell no. No. He, oh, he, wow. No. It's unfortunate. He, he lost. He was, but he was drunk. Um, and even the judge's clerk, like in chambers, she smelled it on him. She, and she called sheriff's department. It's like, Hey, he's leaving now. Um, yeah, you need to find him because he's gonna get somebody hurt. <laughs> but yeah, he he was That's bad. You could smell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Lord. So um what's the deal? Is so has like do they know her doctor? Have they said who what ear, nose, and throat doctor she goes to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, know her ENT. we need to know her orthodontist as well. That's why yes. there are no OB records because she didn't go there. She went to the to the orthodontist or to or to an oral surgeon. I, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, go on, go on and sue Dave Neal. Go go ahead and do that. Think, yeah. See how that goes. Because you're yeah. still going to have to prove. Because <clears throat> all he's going to do is claim that what he said was true. <laughs> You're going to have to prove that it's not true and that you were pregnant, make, and that's going to be part of this case. And then he's so, going to make sure that that you get that you pay all those fees too. Yeah, that's why the court has you know this is all going on, uh, and it's set for June 10th. There's going to be a determination whether she was pulling, you know, filing frivolous pleadings and lying to the court. Yep. Yes, I want some Red Lobster Cheddar Biscuits, Dan. Now, Ooh, that so that good. That oh, um, damn. <laughs> bad duck did a picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Kaiser had to leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's awful. Oh, God, you're so bad. No, it's good. It's a great picture. It's that's it with that AI, man. If they just, uh, Laura, it's never changed. <laughs> Legendary racing's rent status. I got him right where I want him. Yeah, he's he's your next victim. Oh yeah. Like the pineapple is loose. <laughs> kind of like Laura. No, she's tight. <laughs> That's what she said. She's tight. She said she's tight. Because she's hadn't had it down there for a while. It's <laughs> said better better under the thumb than under the tongue. And she said under the tongue is the place best place to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh my goodness oh yep yeah, called us called it called called the youtube all the chat we're pond scum okay <laughs> I'll, I'll 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 take that <laughs> i've been called i've been called better i know i have a baby lion in my office with this this fat cow right over here the correct nomenclature is bottom feeder yes if Clayton like my tiger, he wouldn't have gotten around to. 
Shot to the face, and you're to blame. <laughs> well, it started. Yeah, I'm, I'm three memberships, uh, or about fifteen dollars oh. to the next one. So. Oh god! <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, they hadn't hit me yet. I did three pretty quick. They hadn't hit me yet. This it's starting to feel a little warm in here, though. <laughs> Was it douche canoe because he was popped in for a DUI? Like, yeah, I think <clears throat> that's oh the one that's geez. being sent. That's the name being censored out of all of these. Oh my goodness! Yes, an oral surgeon. That's that's why. That's <laughs> why. That's why. Oh yes, and I included this in my calculations of like fifteen, but three says fifteen. Thank you so much. Oh so I'm, I'm about fifteen away from the next super chat or three memberships so yeah oh, actually caught up with chat oh my goodness what's really disgraceful is that mike a previous victim and greg a previous victim both have restraining orders against them with this crazy ass woman she was granted an eight-year restraining order with mike that's yeah it's horse shit and she she likely lied with all of it all with fake information and fake allegations and fake accusations all lies. nostril dumbness a super sticker what is it what's the uh Says, does it say yum? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sim, he may have uh, he may have had some pineapple juice in it. Who knows? <laughs> yes, that super sticker was very appropriate for this for this topic. <laughs> yes, she needs to see an ENT or an oral or you know, go to the dentist. I don't know. Uh, oh man uh, <laughs> so much I'm not going to say I'm just not going to say it I'm done no you're not yep <laughs> no you're not I'm done <laughs> it'll come I'm thinking I'm thinking about balloons <laughs> hot air balloons yeah it's, hot air balloons I'm, are amazing I'm going based off of it's combined it's aggregate so it's like I have if I three more memberships will be enough for one because every 25 memberships is 75 bucks because they're three bucks a piece or another $15 in super chats. Uh, <laughs> rolls it this is a real people. Yeah. Real, real, real thing people. <laughs> yeah, I can do the math. This woman wouldn't run the truth if it slapped her in the face. Well, oh. it, 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 it did slap she her in her face. It still doesn't face. know the truth. She was slapping it all right. <laughs> so, buckle <bubble> swap. <laughs> it's a new pap smear. <laughs> Oral arguments are allowed during trial or will have an unfair advantage. Oh God. <laughs> so we finished we finished that one. Okay, so then it's up to the next. Oh I think this is the yeah. So that's that's, that's the end one. of the one before. I just oh, want to know oh good. I can't even hardly read that. Damn. Oh Jesus. Oh good lord. And that's just a response, isn't it? Yeah, that's a response. I can't even read all that shit. Oh, Jesus. I can't even read that. So here's one. Friday, April 5th. That's April 8th. But it looks like this is a response to that. April 5th. Holy hell. No, that looks like um, FBI documents make a information request on like the Kennedy assassination. So that's the same. We've already read that one. Yeah, it's just meetings to confer. So I just try I just tried calling your office, got no answer. I think it's been over a week since we have spoken by phone. There are tons of issues we need to talk about. The email just isn't cutting it. We need to talk soon. He's he's kind of demanding, isn't he? Yeah. 
Geez, since you and I are about the same age, maybe you saw this back when it happened. But if you didn't see this, I politely ask you to read Judge Gaines's famous order granting plaintiffs motion to compel acceptance of lunch invitation. Oh, Jesus. Christ. What? Yeah, that's what that's what that's what that's why he filed his motion to compel lunch. Because there was what? one judge 20 years ago in one case that that granted an order compelling a lunch meeting between parties, but it was a very different situation than this one. Right. Uh, right now we uh, don't need to meet for lunch, although I'm happy to do that. Well, I'm sure you will. You, right now I'm asking, all I'm asking is for you to have the courtesy of accepting my cause so we can talk about the case. Tell me to right. calm, friendly, and professional. If you won't agree to talk, I guess I'll ask Judge Mata to order you to accept an invitation to lunch. He's he's as bad he's as bad as a sov sit, you know. Oh, just, just pretty yeah. I mean, because because this is the kind of stuff that a sov sit will do is you know they they'll they'll call you and say oh we need to discuss we got to talk about this and then they 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 just act like an ass the whole time and they waste your yeah. your your time and. It's like you're getting billed by the hour and you have to bill your client. It's no, no, it, we'll deal with you in court and you're going to pay fees. How about that asshole? I think he wants to go to lunch so he can slip a roofie in there. Calling him out on his age. Uh, well, going out to lunch. Might no, I think what he's want to go out to lunch so that he's not on the damn record. Yes. With his discussions uh, and can make threats about yeah. what he's, you know, filing sanctions or doing whatever bullshit he's going to do. And mm -hmm. so that's what he wants. He doesn't want it on the right. He doesn't want it through email because email is a, is a record in writing. It's there. It's not going anywhere. But if he does it over the phone, which apparently Arizona, what I, someone said earlier, Arizona is a one party state. So wouldn't Greg could just record his ass. Yeah. And, and do it, but life. he's doing this email to protect himself. Yep. Yeah. Hey, uh, Legendary's going to be a dad. Whiskey just said that. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Breaking news. Legendary Racing got Larry Owens pregno. Prego, give, everyone give them congratulations. I know it's a lot to swallow, but Legendary was up to the task. <laughs> Good for you, Legendary. Way to you go, Legendary. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pregnant bond. Hashtag Tugs Triplets is hashtag hashtag Tugs, tugs Triplets too. Yes. All paperwork on the way. Yes. It's hashtag hashtag Tugs Triplets. Oh, God. <laughs> He's making threats on the record, but I'm sure that will be even worse. And that's why in the response earlier that he's like, he didn't, that Greg was like, I don't have a problem meeting for lunch, but we need to have an independent third party present as well, given what's been going on. Yeah. The sh shenanigans that you've been playing. The threats that you've been making. Oh. It says. <laughs> the Lars explanation is he stuck it in the orifice. Got Prego. What would she call an earache? Oh. <laughs> oh. A... oh. <laughs> What's that? Boy, Whiskey like... 77 has money too. Call me, baby. <laughs> 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 oh, it's it's starting to hit a little bit. <laughs> like I just felt that when I laughed. I kind of felt it when I moved my head. I was like, "Oh, okay." Oh, things are getting a little blurry. <laughs> no, he can order straight. a high class meal and either have opposing team pay or to have his client pay. He's too cheap to pick up the tab himself. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, it's hashtag 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 extra blank. That's because it's triplets. <laughs> <laughs> Judy for the third party. I'll be the independent third party. Fly my ass out to Arizona. I'll do it. Oh, <laughs> just to watch the shit show. Yeah, I'll just watch <laughs> shit show. Oh, this case is going to give new meaning to oral arguments. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's why. If I were Mata, I would be very irritated, and I would probably feel my my time is being wasted. Yeah, that's. I'm sure that's why she has been basically holding all when she's like she granted the the order the motion to compel the dis, the discovery uh, production dis, and disclosures. She hasn't. Uh, Laura has until the 19th to comply with that. Um, but she's holding the fees and cost issue 
in abeyance until the trial. So she's holding all this and she did not, she refused to dismiss the case. And yeah, so she's hot, but she's, she's going to deal with this. Uh, uh Oh, you're officially part of the pond scum posse. That's right. This is in Arizona, Paula. It's in Arizona. Yeah. I, I prefer to be bottom feeder. I like that one better. Just in, in, in GMs that Arizona. Yeah. Two dollars. Bad duck broke. Check mark mark safe from Laura Owens. Don't I don't don't give me your ramen money. Come on. I don't, I don't want your grocery money. I don't want you know your beer it. money. <laughs> For your beer runs. I don't if, if you're broke, I don't want no, don't do that. <laughs> no, I think you, um grocery money, none of that. Yeah. Written uh, no verbal with this creep exactly. Yes, that's why. And and I with this lunch may, uh, may be recorded for quality assurance purposes. <laughs> <laughs> you show up to the lunch Under meeting. The she, tongue, look at the thermometer. Well, the only problem is you go to lunch meeting with this guy, and she ends up under the table. <laughs> True whiskey seventy seven <laughs> legendary has that gamer ed that lefty has, but we'll see if that route. Rock- I mean, last night takes in a few hours. Oh, God. You guys are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear about that with, on Baker Street today. <laughs> what happened? Oh, God. So Baker read a story about, about people that, that are gamers and spend a lot of time on the computer. They have uh, ED. <laughs> I've never had I've done a lot of gaming. I've never had that problem. Never. Oh, I'd sit in a computer every night for several hours. Then during the day at the office, I don't have that problem. I, I, I sit at, at the all. computer all day for work, and <laughs> and then I stream in the morning and at night, and then hang up, hang out with <laughs> with <MC>. idiots. <laughs> that position not only is a donkey punch hard to deliver. <laughs> <laughs> Sat there. Well, that's good to know. I don't know. I just felt like oh, you know, oh. I don't want, oh god, I don't want any of that. What is? Oh my goodness. Yes, oh. lack of ethics is astounding. Laura found a match. I said they're perfect. I've I've said it before on Twitter. They're perfect for each other. Oh, oh. I wonder how the number of she has. Bobbin wouldn't be advised. <laughs> Be right back on a beer run. Awesome. What are you going to get? Oh, yeah. No, oh, kitty. No. Oh, it's on. I got a spray bottle. It was on mist. I'll be in the dildo, kitty. Damn it. It's <laughs> 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 the door. It's on mist. It's the same spray bottle that my wife uses to fix the daughter's hair. <laughs> it was on, on mist. He put it. That'd like, be funny. You put it on direct stream, and she's doing the was, daughter's hair and just nails it. Oh, there are, there are times we do that because she is like really bad about not like because she'll sit on the floor in front of the couch. My wife will do her hair. She's got long hair. It's like down down her back, and so she'll braid it or brush it or do whatever. And she will not look up. Like we'll turn the TV on or something, get her to look up. She won't look up. So my wife would just take a stream right in the back of the head with it. It's, <laughs> it's like, hey, let's go. Or just take the miss and just go. Oh. <laughs> it just keeps misting her. Can you zoom in on this more? Because I really want to see tr- his response. I can try. Just... Well, no, I can... shit. No, nope. it's not gonna clarify. You Is probably it? can't read it at that point. No, I can read it. Oh, okay. But if I widen it, it's just like really bright nice. on my face. So David is douche canoe, right? No. Uh, yes, David <laughs> is the douche canoe. Yes. Because he tells him, he's like, David, I have two disclosed medical experts who would like to see these here photographs, Planned Parenthood and the telemed records about the alleged miscarriage, as it is, it may as it may impact their their efforts. Is that what it says? Efforts. Brian Neumeister is prepared to review the date as well. Please provide the disclosure and then we can discuss resolution options. 
I appreciate you uh, say you will tone things down, but that is contrary to your recent blog posts and continued activity on Twitter. I respectfully disagree with you legal with your legality, but uh, that is that is up to the court, uh, not some zoo t- take atmosphere online. Um, with regards to YouTube and podcasting crowd, remember that was actually created to something. Uh, when oh when uh sh- when a uh, when a uh, uh, slut bag was posting arguing with redditors and sending uh, uh ostensibly altered data to Steve Cardone and and Ethan others as for our lunch i i enjoyed my 24 i enjoyed in my 24 years of practice i have never said no oh, it says i enjoy as for lunch i enjoy food yeah, I, I like a <laughs> lunch and beer invitation, well, but I'm saying not now. Perhaps this will. Oh, be wait nothing. a second. Lunch is a code word for Laura. No. Oh. This is this is a because Dushkanu is the one that he's asking to be yeah. taken out to lunch. He wants a well, lunch. Well, I know. Day. I thought that meant he, he wants, wanted a, a, a hummer from her. Well, what? it's lunch for Laura. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was thinking. I thought that was okay. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, protein shake for her. This will be uh, of a course, sensible this, dinner. This is nothing more than <laughs> than fodder for future blog posts. But but I trust you're being sincere. Uh, your statements are uh, in, in emails, over the phone, uh, on your blog, on your Twitter, uh, etc. They they may have been uh, the product of. Uh, oh, I can't really I'm see here. what that. The product of hate. Passion. Oh, passion. Yeah. Uh, but they were received as combative and unpleasant. Uh, given your verbiage and your approach online and to my team, I, I think Judge Mata will side with me on any trepidation uh, issues here. That said, uh, I, I, I'm quick to forgive uh, if your email is meant to be a, a covert, uh, over branch apology olive or professional oh some yeah. sort of olive branch apology or professional allegations of overzealous act, uh, advocacy i would certainly accept that apology i i, I want to avoid clayton incurring uh, any fees discussing anything further without the disclosure which i trust you agree with is reasonable uh, we need the experts input and clayton will make informed decisions with your data um, no i'm not in pro- pro- uh, inputting anything provides. i'm no and yeah, this is, I'm going to go through here. And Greg says, well, Lynn, says, Lynn Britton says, guys, I do know of a woman that didn't swallow and transferred the product. It took, and he is now 19 years old. I kid you not. Well, I said, I, I, I said that has, would have to be what she did. If she went to the bathroom after the second round, then that's probably what she did. Or even the first or, round. Or claim, or, you know, but she's not being honest about it. If that's what she did, you would think that's... She would have had to she do have it. to come out with that at some point. Maybe she did it both times. Laura has a nosebleed once a month. She calls it menstruation. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, wait. Legendary Racing says, Eris is gone and Whiskey 77 is making Laura Owens. You need one active mod on here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Expert and Shizzy are both mods. So yeah. we have mods. Uh, Oh my God! Oh, <laughs> he says. Well, Greg, I appreciate your response. To to focus on matters at hand, we need to speak about the status disclosure on this one. The items on the list. I, I understand. A few a few uh, days ago, you just dis- disclosed the names of some expert, uh, but basically nothing else. Obviously, uh, the the incredibly uh, uh, scant details of these disclosures do not come close to uh, what is required under Rule 49. Separately from that, I don't need to remind you that if you want to call an expert, you just you just dial him up. He has his own channel. You also have <laughs> <laughs> separately met, met the Rule 402 admissibly standards and other requirements of uh, Desbert. <clears throat> Uh, if you're not familiar with these uh, uh, requirements, attached is a brief where I explain them in, in just a little bit of detail. I mean, at the end of the day, since you have a total of one hour of trial time, I'm, I'm not really sure I even care about this. Uh, when, when you uh, deduct time for a little opening, closing, and the man's witnesses, you, you really call, call, call the expert. 
and use your <laughs> reigning time, maybe one or two minutes, because that's all the expert really needs to ask a few questions. <laughs> I guess all you can do that. That's why we have it. But that's, that's <laughs> only if you disclose everything that's required, which you haven't done. And, uh, well, or, orally, and if you uh, comply with uh, Daubert uh, and 702, also uh, not yet done. Uh, again, this is this is why we need to talk. Well, wait, I, I, they're, they're waiting. The, the experts can't prepare their reports until they have the fucking discovery document. Exactly. Well, he doesn't want to give. So the it's discovery. like, yeah, he, they haven't they haven't complied with with the Daubert and seven hundred two, you know, data report requirements because they don't have all the information to prepare a damn report. Right. They need the documents. They need all of what Greg said in his previous email. They they need all of that in order to do their fucking job. Well, he says, he says, again, this is why we need to talk. I, I leave you alone for the rest of the day, but we need to talk on Monday. If I don't hear from you, I'm, I'm going to ask the court to order you to speak with me because you have to talk to me. So let's just try to work this out so I don't have to call the court and tell them that you have to talk to me. Two things. Yes, I absolutely apologize if I was unprofessional or unpleasant. Is This was not in my intent. Bullshit. <laughs> uh, I, ne- I need to res- – you, you, sir, you need to respect the fact that that slutbag has 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 severe and I mean extreme concerns about your honesty and integrity. At first, <laughs> oh, I did not share those concerns, black. but since I learned about the case, I'm, I'm starting to see that that douchebag, that little slut whore, <laughs> concerns may uh, have merit. It, well, because you're listening to her story. Oh, but uh, I know what I'm talking about. I am the Con- uh, Connor O'Gregor. If you fully appreciate my concerns, <laughs> I will say one last thing. I'm about to send a long email to Dave Neal. Yeah, it's the only thing long he sends. Dave Neal. I assume he's working closely with you, but if if not, you should reach out to him and ask him for a copy oh, of the message. If he sent a long email to Dave Neal, Dave, I want that email. Oh. <laughs> I know you're you not know- watching. Maybe it's one of your viewers is watching and they get I want if he sent you a long email, I oh, want I it because I want to read that read shit that. on stream. Oh. <laughs> Uh, since you don't know me, me that well, the email may provide some helpful context. That's the main the main reason I'm I'm, I'm sending yeah. it to him. And, and I will tell you the same thing I told Dave. There's a good reason to make uh, some you know uh, some public comments to explain a slut bag's position, but that is for for uh, you know for now done. I, I I don't plan on speaking much more about this case in public unless it's necessary to to respond to false information someone else has uh, published. I, I hope this makes sense. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. What a, what a douche canoe. It's, it's a fucking, it's a douche canoe. Oh. It's, <laughs> that's so weird. One other, one like other he's, th- he's the reason this is this hashtag slut bag bukkake lunch. Oh. <laughs> oh. God, oh. Susan. <laughs> Never take her su- to a sushi restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> this, the mouth is a hostile environment for that particular product. It's more likely the product on her face or the sheets would have had better chance, though very unlikely. Yeah. But she had to do something. Wow. Now there's only one way to prevent pregnancy. It's called abstinence. It is 100% effective every time <laughs> it's tried. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You know, that's. <laughs> oh, and then he's, he sends a follow up too. Yes, the female is the judge is female. Yes, the judge is female. Oh my judge god! Is female. Yes, oh. this is why Drake seasons his condoms. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly, and it saved his ass recently. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, mods on panel don't do that. Well, mods for the most part don't do a damn thing either. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> you I just did. <laughs> I timed him out. No more mods. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's the worst ball store. I timed like... you out for 10 seconds. <laughs> 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 oh, that's way too funny. That's, not, that's so stupid. And why am I laughing? Oh my god! Yes, <laughs> she's tight. How would a turkey baster fit? 
Those things are wide. <laughs> More like an eyedropper. Yeah, right. I think we're about five hours <laughs> away from me taking another shot. Yeah, we are pretty much there now. Oh my god! See, there's a super chat just popped up. <sighs> Wonder what douche canoe thinks of her. I'm sure he has no problem with her coercive dating contract. Oh, apparently, geez. he does family law. He doesn't do contracts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a contract lawyer. Yeah, I don't do family law. I'd stay away from it because of this kind of bullshit right here. Oh yeah. God. <laughs> oh, good night, Melody. Melody Couture. <laughs> Melody. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, so. How many F bombs do you think Mata says in chambers when she reads his motions? I don't know. I bet she's got a bottle of Glenn Livet Founder's Reserve or Angel's Envy in her chambers, though. <laughs> 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 Does it uh, require to talk to each other out of court? Yeah, I mean there there are requirements for meet and confer. I mean right. they're clearly having conversations back and forth about all of this shit. Um, you you know you could do it. A lot of stuff is done through email, but there are a lot of times I'll I'll just call someone because it if I don't get in touch with them, then I'll send an email. And I hate talking to people on the phone. I hate talking to anyone at the office. <laughs> on the phone, but there are times where like, I don't want to take the time to, to type up an email if I can call them and they'll answer. Yeah. Especially uh, if it's only just going to be like five minutes, just like, quick, oh, just a couple yeah. of minutes. Um, yeah, well, I'll call we'll them see. and talk to them. And then sometimes they're like, okay, well, depending on what the discussion leads to, okay, well, we'll send an email as a follow-up just to memorialize it. Right. But there are a lot of times that won't, you know, just won't do it. It's like, talk to me now. Have a, talk to me now. I have yes. a couple of buddies, and it sounds like their wives. Oh His email to Dave was 15 pages. Oh, I will. Damn, oh, I will. Megan has the email. I'll have to. Yeah, I don't know if she's has she talked about it yet because usually. Oh. oh, so can't release it because he was threatened in it. Well, I want to read the damn thing because I think it needs to be if he's threatening people. That shit needs to be out there in public. It needs to be plastered yeah. all over the fucking world. Yeah, absolutely. You can't. I'm me. sorry. It needs to be out there, and may, and then make put his ass on the defense and say, "No, that's not what I meant. That's not what I'm doing. No, put that shit out there." And that's why I, I can understand Dave not wanting to do it, but let somebody else put it out there. Sorry, you you sent an email to me. Unless I unless I agree, don't consider it private. Because I don't, there's no, there's no legal representation. I'm not representing a client. It's not like I have some sort of client privilege, you know, anything going on here. You send something to me, there's a chance it's going to get read. Sorry. So just send me one, send me a cease and desist, send me an email. It's getting sent. It's going to be put on stream. And we'll let the world, because, because for you send me a cease and desist, Law Pope's getting getting called into it. Oh yeah, I'm go, I'm going to reach out to everybody I know. Hey, we want I want to stream. I want ten of you ten of you on this damn stream. Let's go through this cease and desist letter. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. If you get a cease and desist, I'll actually um, open a book. Really? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll actually open a book. I'll be like, okay, let's think about this. Let's be normal for a second. <laughs> <laughs> man i uh, never mind okay. i'm gonna stop being <laughs> <laughs> simone do lawyers often use motions to threaten each other and others with lawsuits no i mean this was a motion for sanctions that was well i mean this is one yeah this was a motion for sanctions was already filed right and so this guy's trying to play tough and say well you didn't follow the rules he doesn't know what really know what he's talking about um but I'm sure that Greg, he withdrew the motion for sanctions, thinking it was all just going to just go away and would shut this guy up. Well, it hasn't shut him up because now he, then he files the motion to compel lunch. You know, he's still going. He's filing shit. Uh, but you can see back and forth about just the bullshit this guy's in. Normally it doesn't. That's not what happens. Um, normally you'll send the letter ahead. You'll threaten them ahead of time. Hey, if you don't do this, I will file a motion for sanctions. I have done that. Because somebody has done something, filed something that's so frivolous to an attorney. He's filed something so frivolous and unsupported by existing case law and statutory law. I've said, you need to withdraw this or I will file a motion for sanctions. 
you've got X number of days. I'll send them a safe harbor letter. Here we go. You're on the clock. And when they don't respond, I, I've, I have filed some motion for sanctions. Um, I had one of them, uh, the, a couple of them been denied. One of them was denied, but then the judge issued his own sanctions for basically oh, the same, for basically I the same that. reasons. Yeah. Then he ordered the, the attorney to pay, pay my, my firm the, the money. He's like, yeah, you're going to turn, you're going to pay them. I wish oh. he, he should have, well, he didn't grant mine. He denied mine, but he granted his own. I was like, son of a bitch. Because <laughs> I had more grounds than what the judge had. <laughs> oh. Dude, dude lied in an affidavit. Uh, yeah. Oh, about something. And it's like, really? Yeah. The judge called. I was like, yeah, really? You, you, you did all of this? Because there's nothing to support what you say you did. Oh, it was great. Oof. <laughs> yeah, for, for, for Laura Abstin. <laughs> <laughs> Is it <an> eating disorder? <laughs> 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 Judge CC stream. She's not going to be able to keep her composure without backing up looking at Laura. I'm sure she is not on YouTube looking at this stuff. She's not Judge the Thomases. I'm sure he's. Oh my gosh! I'm getting. I'm getting some. Uh... He's he's like said that makes you think he has looked at some of the streams. He, probably, he might not have. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, $5. Blah, blah, blah. I think David was trying to threaten David. Yeah, Douche Canoe was trying to threaten David being homeless as leverage to get Clayton to drop everything. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, say so go after Dave. Mm, yeah. Gonna, we'll idea. have a fucking field day with that stuff. And oh, we are now yeah. over uh, the limit. So it's time for. Oh, shit. I just overflowed it. Oh, no, that's abuse. Mm-hmm. Party foul. Yeah, that's what she said. That's what Laura said. I, I love it. Well, should, and, and I should have just made noise and gotten the damn clear glass out. <sighs> We're gonna get you a shot glass. Oh, I have a shot glass. I have shot glasses. I just didn't want to make noise clinking glass to get it out all the other glasses out of the way to get to that. This is the first time I've had anything in on stream in weeks. Bring each of them um, solo that cup ones. Chair is well, solo cup shorts. Yeah, <laughs> little solo cup shots. Have you seen those? I love them. I'm like, I don't have a use for them, but I just like, what are those little cups, man? I've seen those. They're, seen they're for those. jello shots. We we did that. Um, our uh, first Halloween out here. We threw it. We threw <laughs> a Halloween party. That's awesome, huh? Oh, no, we, this kids? was back when I was in law school. Way before, <laughs> kids, but we threw a Halloween party. We had like the the uh, skull torches, candle torch candles on the sidewalk oh, leading up to the apartment. Old school Halloween we went all out, had black so... lights and webbing. We spent like a couple hundred bucks on it. Dude, and, that was um, no. <laughs> the only person that showed up was like a couple of my like one of my classmates who lived in the in the complex, and then our neighbor showed up for a few minutes. That was it. We would order pizza. We did Jello shots. We had everything. It was like I invited people. And they're like, they'll end up going to other places. Like, damn, we had we had Jello shots for for just a ton of them. That's, that sounds that sounds like my uh, my, my mother in law. She's what seventy something, and it was it was it was last last Halloween that one of the neighbors were in where my where my brother in law lives was doing had jello shots set up and i think a few people had done it and so she was she got ripped and had no idea what they were she was just like i these taste really good yeah she you got your mother-in-law some, wasted i didn't i wasn't there <laughs> oh, we had, awesome. there was one i want to say it was christmas one year we were out at my my family's house awesome. my parents house and my brothers were we were all in town that they were you know they were in they were not uh uh, yeah, they, were drinking, yeah, they were of age but we were there playing games with it like had all kinds of liquor it got my parents to drink <laughs> and my parents you know my dad will have a they'll have you know my mom will have a daiquiri on vacation my dad you know pina colada stuff like that but this was hard this is just straight liquor it was so much damn fun 
It's <laughs> 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 so, 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 I mean, we just like out of the blue. It was like, hey, dad, take a shot. Well, I, don't, I don't even remember what it was. I think it was a rum or something. But he, he yeah, rum and a vodka and something. But yeah, he had they had they each had a couple of shots. I was like, it was so much fun. Oh. My parents actually did that. And so I want to see the judge's face and hear her internal monologue while reading these motions. Yes. <laughs> He needs to say lunch with you and your client would violate my Eighth Amendment rights. <laughs> I guess it's cool. an unusual punishment. <laughs> oh, I love I love his response for the quick follow up though. This is hilarious because he says he says he says Greg. One other quick follow up, which I'd prefer to do it in a in a call, in a call. but I'm happy to leave it in an email for now. I just talked to to slut bag about the expert disclosure thing. Why is the expert <laughs> disclosing things? I, said I don't disclose people. anything, man. <laughs> Nobody would listen to him. I did. What's like, you're an you? idiot. What's wrong with you? But I'm truly usually very robotic and very pretty strict when it comes to following procedural rules. And that means everyone follows the rules strictly. I'm happy and people can't. I'm not. With respect to your expert. Yeah, your experts, not my experts, your experts. I'm guessing you really aren't planning to call them. They're just, there just isn't enough time. No, they're, they're calling them. And there is any <laughs> value in their testimony, which I can tell you due to lack of detail in the disclosure. But that value seems like it would be uh, minimal at best. But plus the do, the Dobert problem. Uh, Dobert uh, problem. Yeah. But Slutbag and I are, are are reasonable people, and we actually think that maybe it would be okay if you really want to put uh, one OBGYN on, on the stand. Uh, obviously, I, w- I would need it, and, and I'm entitled to a lot more disclosure about what this person plans to say and what their backgrounds are. Obviously, need to know if the doctor is married to Clayton's brother or, or whatever. What the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> Just, really? But assuming no other, no other, no other flags, I, I may be willing to agree uh, that you can call an OBGYN because I'm guessing that if uh, if that person is truly neutral and knowledgeable, they can offer some value valuable information to us. So <laughs> that way we can we can argue some more. But that's one of the issues I'd like to discuss. It really shouldn't shouldn't be too controversial. I mean, God. Really- yeah, you've got a Dalbert saying the Dalbert is is the expert testimony, scientific evidence. We love the standard. expert. We and you know <laughs> until you provide the, the the damn discovery, they can't do their job and give you a give you a report. Seriously, and I would call, and they're going to definitely call uh, the the Byron Newmeister. He was an expert in the Johnny Depp trial for metadata. Yeah, these pictures and all this shit that she's claiming is. Proof of her pregnancy, they're gonna he's gonna probably be able to show that it's all doctored. And that's why they don't want to have anybody there. Yeah. God. After this, the number 69 isn't gonna have the same effect. <laughs> <laughs> or cause mass and kill baby killers. Well, no, it's uh Listerine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, there are email conversations, then there are phone call conversations. That's oh my god. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the email, I think the email from today ought to be sent to the judge. I mean, it's just nuts. Yes. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, judge is going to watch the the other hearings. You you know that. She's going to review those. If you date me with intention, I'll have an abortion. Yeah, she, she she tried to enter into a contract with him. It said, "Hey, if you date, we want to date for like a month or something." With you know the basically the intention to see whether it can become more serious. No, and then she's like, "Oh, but we we don't have to have sex, but you'd enjoy you'd find out how tight I am because I haven't had sex in over a year." Uh, no. like, you'll. It's like, but that if if he would date her with the intention to make it serious that she would then ha- have an abortion. But if she, but if he didn't, then she's going to have the kids. And it's like, okay, you know, 
So, but she wanted that. Yeah. She wanted that relation. She wanted to date him and try to have sex with him. So she either really could really get pregnant or claim or have a more, I would say more valid claim, but be able to have factual circumstances where it could have happened. And say, oh, yeah, well, we had sex on this night. And so at least there's some possibility. Who, yeah, right do now the contract, who does that? A, a freaking sociopath, psychopath. That's who does yeah. it. She is definitely that. Yeah. Uh-oh. Please don't read it, those letters I send you. Sing <laughs> <laughs> like the elite season assist. <laughs> Let me go off. He'll be playing World of Warcraft and read your damn cease and desist. (laughs) (laughs) The wild lefty appears with ED. (laughs) 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 Half of Discord already read him. (laughs) (laughs) Because Baker was all he's he's a big Discord whore. Good night, Teddy. Good night, Teddy. Oh no. Oh. I didn't say it. Yeah, there's there's a damn judge watching my streams. There's no way. Oh my god. Oh. Hey, who can I send my lord to for Dollywood? <laughs> I can't get my lord here. I actually, the one maybe there's an. I mean, there's liquor stores everywhere, but I, the one one that I went to normally, they don't have it. He, I was like, do you have any any uh, Jeff says my lord? He's like, no. You can wow. you can uh, you can you can talk to um, uh, Kaiser. Kaiser will be <laughs> Kaiser can get it. And he yeah. will be. Well, he, he laughed. The, well, the dude laughed. He's like, no. I said, well, I've heard that's some of the worst stuff. He's like, Yee. he just laughed. Yeah. So then I may have to go to another one. I can. There's um. There's several of them that uh, I can I can look up and see their inventory, what they have in stock. So I'll just have to search to make amends. Laura Owens has invited you three to a party at her house. She is also making you three. I was going asking you three to drink pineapple juice right before arrival. It's a pineapples today. <laughs> well, we went oh, to McAllister's man. for lunch. Haven't been there in a little while. Kids wanted to go there after Taekwondo. <laughs> and then my, my daughter got a fruit cup with her turkey and cheese toasty. And she ate the uh, cantaloupe. And she's like, I just want the cantaloupe. And I was like, okay. So I ate the strawberries and pineapple and the grapes. It's like, there's pineapple in here. I looked at my wife and said, like, hey, there's pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any time we have pineapple or anything, I was like, hey, pineapple. You should just kind of look at me. It's a little glare. <laughs> oh. Swallow faster than hell. Yes, I spilled it. It was alcohol abuse. Party foul. It dripped on her chin. <laughs> oh. Yeah. If Dave Neal, if, if Douche Canoe goes after him, Oh, good Lord. Yeah, if he's looking for a case that's going to make him famous or infamous, this one will be it. Uh-oh. Lefty. <laughs> heard MG was drinking. Well, you know, when... You heard. <laughs> since, since Chad's doing it to me. Yeah, he's like going to sue him for $150 million. Yeah, like you have any basis to do that. Yeah. You, there's no way you could prove 150 million dollars in damages at all for any of that. Yeah, Dave. Dave needs to enjoy it, but he has a real baby on the way. Yes, Doug has better proof of pregnancy than Laurie. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I told Megan earlier. It's like you're giving her, you're giving her, uh, you know, and you know, ideas. For when she actually provides discovery documents in production, when she produces stuff. Jealous says we 15. No, I was you know 25 or 26 at the time. Jealous shows you good. Your girl. <laughs> but uh, I, I would say the there's a uh, our best friends, uh they're they're Korean, their neighborhood for Halloween. They have one of the houses around the corner. 
they have stuff for the kids, but they have a whole setup for the adults too. So they have like shots and jello shots and all that stuff for the adults there as well. Walking around, they, they go all out. I heard about it last year. And then this, the year before this past year, I took the kids over to their house because my wife had just had knee surgery the week oh. before. And so she stayed home and handed out candy which I did last year, the year before I stayed home while they went over to their house and did trick or treating uh, before coming home and going in our neighborhood. But I took them this year and uh, when I was like, she's like, yeah, they have, they have jello shot. They had shots and jello shots and all this stuff for the adults. And they sure enough, they did. Did she bring any home? No. I mean, hello, trick or treat. I have to thank, I thank everyone for super chance lefty. I appreciate it. What's up, little D Danielle? Oh, hey, what's up, girl? What's up? There's some bakers in the house. If Baker wants on. Let's see. <laughs> Where is it? Broken Baker. I think this is the I think this is the link for the stream. I don't know. Baker's <laughs> trying to figure out what uh... it could be. It might be. I don't know. Maybe. Oh. I did control paste, <laughs> control V, it pasted whatever the last thing was, and it was a stream yard oh link. So. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it said after the case, if he wins. Yeah. I, oh, God. And the thing is, is even if he wins, that's not any, not necessarily basis for him to get any defamation to file a defamation suit <clears throat> because there's enough here to reasonably question whether she was ever pregnant. Her timelines are, are complete horse shit. They change all the time. And so anyone covering it, you can't say there was, and she's a public figure. She's done TEDx talks. Or she is, you know, she's done public speak in gate speaking engagement. She's done this. Stuff. She's a public figure, even a limited public figure. Like, you know, cause she does this stuff, social media stuff. What right. she do on so, uh, a TED talk about? Yeah, never she's, mind. She's, I, I she's not I a know. private. She's not private. No. So here, it's going to have to be with you know malice and reckless disregard for the truth. And there's enough here to 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 honestly question whether she was ever pregnant. Right. So you're not a defamation suit is not going to go any damn way. So. To not show up, Bear Burn, raising my hand. I want to be the OBGYN specialist. Can't promise I won't pee myself laughing, though. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a dental but, degree? That's my question. My question is, settled it. Like, you can't be an OBGYN if you don't have a dental degree. Yeah, you have to be an OBGYN. <laughs> <laughs> you to go to a big pickup truck with a Cummins engine to help her land on this huge freak <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, why well, call an OBGYN? She, we did call her orthodontist or an ENT. <laughs> well, her oral surgeon. Oh. This, yeah, this is how the expert got his name. Damn it, kitty cat. Get away from my damn feet. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. <laughs> the oral hygiene is important for so many reasons. Remember, for safety, brush your tongue gently. It's to not cause damage to future babies. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, baby. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. I'm reading the cookbook. I'm sorry that I'm creating for tomorrow's stream and I <laughs> read when it Why is sleep with the cow and she milked him for free? Just like it. Ah! <laughs> and you got the same and you ended up with the same problem anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what are the chances that he she appeared normal before he chose to engage with her? Yeah, she had to be shooting off red flags. Uh, <laughs> That's legal advice I said earlier. Because he's the real because um Clayton was in like in real estate. And so if he like showed her a house or something and she he's single 
He's young, single, and she comes up and starts unzipping his pants. He ain't gonna turn it down. <laughs> it's oh. like, hey, what could go wrong? Yeah, but it's like you gotta know that you're 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 there's a trap. There's always yeah, a it's trap. like and now she she claims that 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 he he graped her. And it's like, but the emails after mm. their encounter was Yeah, they don't match. I haven't had sex in over a year, so it does none of that makes she's already contradicted <laughs> herself. She's done Good lots night, of dick. That's from what I understand. I see Robert James. I didn't see it. Is it legal to expose exactly what a defendant said in the past to win a case? Well, this would be the plaintiff, but yeah, you I mean <clears throat> what she said prior to filing her case. I mean, those are if she says something, you know, what she said she hasn't had sex and things like that, those are you know. Is statements by record? a party opponent. Those are, you know, admissions, you know, statements against interest. Yeah, they're admissible. Um, I have an NDA with me at Tennessee for the ladies. So, <laughs> you can check your Discord maker. I did send you. Oh, <laughs> In truth, it was a financial scam to get a pay for an unnecessary abortion. Oh, well. You get the paper one that can never happen. So this story is unreal. Oh, an unnecessary abortion. Yeah, exactly. She just yes. wanted a teeth cleaning. That's all. Baker said no phones allowed. Yeah, she doesn't have any. <laughs> the <digital> pleasure palace. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> don't know. Danielle says, what, what NDA? I don't want any of that. <laughs> or do I want any of that? Well, <laughs> well, I don't know. Non-disclosure on... agreement. You can't talk about what happened. Oh, I thought he meant DNA. That's <laughs> 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 the Laura Owens treatment for my wife. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just picturing you going to your wife and saying, What, you want to have kids? All right, here you go. Kiss the no, elephant. We, we are out of the baby business. We are not doing babies. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it means you can't talk what you do, talk about what you do together. Yes. Oh. This is the First Amendment and pregnancy scammer sue comedian journalists. We're talking about public family court case. Yeah, that's going to be like First Amendment attorney and pregnancy scammer. Yeah, yeah, oh. I wouldn't accept. Wouldn't ex- accept them. Well, she wants to probably send a picture of the picture of the you know a picture of the document instead of the document itself. Picture. Send a picture, send a picture the of the picture instead of yeah. the original because she's doctored them. Just grabbing the popcorn after that last comment from Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm way behind a chat maker because I'm like, oh. we're reading. And so as we're reading, I'm like not looking at. Yes, that's just. <laughs> the only like the baker. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm way behind. I'm trying to catch up real quick before we. Good night, good night, JD fan. Yes, yeah, yeah, she did ask the judge if she could show Clayton the baby, show the baby to Clayton because he hadn't seen it yet. Judge is like, no. <laughs> Patricia's husband's Patricia husband's working the night shift, cracking up. My patients think I belong on the funny farm. We all do after <laughs> just, dealing with this case. I'm just, I'm just picturing her saying, "Can, can I, can I show the baby?" And then she brings in a barf bag. <laughs> oh, this is an dude. example of, a, of hysterical dude. pregnancy. She claims she was pregnant. We think it's hysterical. Yeah, she gave him gummies. That's I, I think there was there was some mention of, of him being on gummies, and then she and then she gave him literally gave him the gummies. Oh, okay, kitty cat, you are heavy and warm. She take out her teeth. <laughs> The tonsillectomy is the same as the hysterectomy. Asking for a friend. Yes. <laughs> she had a 
<laughs> well, yeah, legendary. Hey, you could be our next topic. Uh, <laughs> Just go right ahead. Yes, the judge asked for records dating back to 2014 with victim zero in all of this. <clears throat> 10 years, dating back 10 years in order to show pattern of her bullshit. God. The esophageal embryos. Um. <laughs> oh he placed his hand on her head to guide her using, oh. guide her by using teeth that's gripping. <laughs> put his hand on her head that's exactly what it is Bear I haven't had an ex in over a year it's a miracle I'm pregnant oh. are we ready to the legendary good logic is he still is he going he's not oh. streaming is he isn't it still is it well this is uh Shabbos, is Shabbos over at this point mm. <laughs> Baker's gonna go back home 200 pounds heavier and pregnant. Yes. Oh, oh what well, no one realizes that the judge for this is perfect. Judge Mata used to be the probate mental health judge at Desert Vista, the county mental health hospital. Oh, good lord. Oh <laughs> well, no, in nine months, what happened? Broken Baker. <laughs> 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 Can he get back in the country if he's pregnant? Do they like? I don't know. I figured they have like a purity test. They might have big tonsils. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, you might be a little more fertile than others. <laughs> Some people are more fertile than others. Just, just, it just happens. Some guys like those bigger, bigger tonsils. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so here, to be clear, Clayton, Clayton wasn't showing a house. Clayton had just gotten his license, and she called him asking if he could find properties for her and then started sending him sexy text. And then he invited her to his house, and that's where the gummy situation happened, and the tonsil twins became a thing. <laughs> I knew the gummies were involved. Your Honor, I moved to have the records for this case sealed, unlike my client's lips. Oh, oh. <laughs> didn't know you could have an ectopic pregnancy in your mouth. Oh, oh he's gonna start after midnight. Okay, they're coming to take me away. Ha ha, coming to take me away. Oh, he's gonna start after midnight. It's two o'clock. Oh, <laughs> midnight. He's gonna start after midnight. Yeah, because he's on. He's he on is, Eastern time. He has two. Yeah. He's going right now. Okay, yeah. Because he filed a um he's fi trying to file a petition to a motion to have the gag order on Trump in his New York one of his New York cases lifted. The trial starts Monday and they issued a gag order on Trump. He's like, because he actually is recognized as a member, good logic is recognized as a member of the press in New York. He's like, well, I should have access to the president for his comments. This oh. is a first amendment issue. So he was trying to get it filed. He had like filed it and then got a response with like errors to correct because he's never done it before. And so he tried to fix it yesterday afternoon. And of course, time ran out. He's got to serve. Apparently he has to serve the AG's office. It's all these different hoops. So, but apparently so he's doing hoops. stuff right. Yeah, he's doing stuff right now. But yeah, it's it's kind of funny. But yeah, I guess we'll, I can do that. If he's still going, we can redirect to him. I don't know when we'll. Oh, I'm, I'm, we're, well, the the uh, the stream is limited monetization. I wonder why. Well, you know, things happen. Might be the gummies. <laughs> um, it's gotta be the gummies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It was so funny to see an abacus brief in this case. Yes. <laughs> okay, so the, the next email later that day. So that no, so this is the follow so the April 5th. So this was the next month. So this was Monday afternoon, 157. So that was, you know, right after the eclipse for me. Hmm. Uh just so so Greg's sending one to Douche Canoe. So Douche Canoe, 
disclosure, I should not have to keep asking for the missing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cracking up. I'm sorry. I should not have to keep asking for the missing information, which is required pursuant to Rule 49 and the motion to compel. You have stated several times in emails that you have the photo your client testified to taking on the day of the miscarriage, which is yet to be provided, and it appears. You are now saying it occurred in November, contrary to your client's testimony at deposition and statements at the prior status conference. I assume you also have the telemed doctor records and contact information so we can obtain the records with the photo from the source directly. Again, I should not have to keep asking about this as the court granted the motion to compel. Exactly. Lunch. I appreciate the lunch invitation and would consider it Consider the free food. <laughs> you force him to pay for it. <laughs> Damn it, kitty cat. Stay away from my feet. <laughs> Dude, cat has a foot fetish. <laughs> Damn it. No, he likes to just attack. He's, a, he's an attack kitty. He's mean. He's a naughty pussy. Naughty pussy. Now, don't you reach out and he tried to like slap me there. <laughs> so, <laughs> I would cons- appreciate I uh, appreciate the lunch invitation. And I would consider their free food after your client complies with her obligation. She has admitted to forging medical records from SMIL, and our experts need the original which she testified came from Planned Parenthood. As you've seen, you. Planned Parenthood indicated they have no you. records that show your client was there for an ultrasound on the day in question. Our experts, Snap. medical. What's that? No. Chizzy. Oh, my goodness. What? No. Our what experts, medical and Neemeister, Neemeister and Tech, are waiting for the documents, and the motion to compel was granted. I will eat with you, sushi, after we have the information for the experts. Jeez, put Siri out to slap him. <laughs> no, did you see him raise his arm up? He like reached up and like. Was, <laughs> so I will slap you. I will so slap you. Slap, 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 slap. Look in the camera. Hey, look at the camera. That's right. Oh, there we go. I will oh. kill you all. <laughs> Incoming amicus briefs from the makers of Altoids, Add a girl knee pads, and <laughs> and <Uber-Kosu's> the original <laughs> Slap, 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 slap. Oh. <laughs> Three, media. Any issues you have with Reality Steve Carbone or the others who have covered this story after your client initiated this with the son is your issue. It has no bearing on the litigation and it is not something Clayton should be spending legal fees on. Experts. I understand Rule 702 and did not need the explanation. These very qualified experts are awaiting documents that you ostensibly have, ostensibly have, or Confirmation that the photos and supplemental records that Slutbag specifically testified to having do not exist. At this rate, you might not have their reports before 60 days, but that is only because your client has refused to provide the same. The disclosure you received provided a summary of their anticipated testimony pursuant to Rule 49J. I will have more data for you as soon as Slutbag complies with her disclosure obligations, which again, we have been requesting for some time. Susie seems a wrong choice. We have no proof. Clayton returned the oral favor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's <laughs> got, got, got a damn like a screw you. Hey, look at the camera. Look at the camera. There we go. <laughs> his, his tail is going nuts. Dude. I love the cat off. growls. Ow, you little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh. no, he's, he's not in heat. <laughs> he is in heat. <laughs> 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 and he is neutered as well. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> <Cat growl. laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That's from South Park, Mr. Slash. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. That hurts. <laughs> he's a man. He's a munchkin, Sabine. He is a munchkin cat, but I think he's got bank food. <laughs> my, my cat legit just slapped my computer because I put the it's because I put my cat up there. That's yeah. awesome. Oh, I'll leave you alone. I'll let you lick yourself, buddy. I only Clay that said that. <laughs> I'll leave you alone. Let you lick yourself. He's licking, he's licking his leg, leg. He's he's not doing what normally he's got his leg up and he's clean he's licking himself, but he's actually just licking his up. Oh, no, no, there he goes. Oh, there we go. Oh hey, does that taste good, buddy? Oh my god. I don't think my cat and your cat get along. With that cat, what do want to meet him? No, oh you don't want to meet him in the daytime. If you just walk by him, sometimes he'll come and attack your ass. I don't give, I rarely, if ever, give him catnip. He got some the other day with a toy. Yeah, Munchkin cat. He's got the short little, he's a wiener dog of cats. <laughs> That's what he is. No wonder he's licking are the wiener dog the cat. I would lick myself too if I was a <laughs> You should see when he st- he'll stand up on his hind legs and he's like a little meerkat. It's it's awesome. Don't mind the scratch marks, dear. They're just from the cat, not some other pussy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm hallucinating. <laughs> <laughs> Overheard outside the bathroom after after the second mouth hole. Get in the hole. Why won't you get in there? You too good for your home. Answer me. Answer me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts. I'm sick. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Jesus. There we go. <laughs> Oh. So, douche canoes email D- back. Oh, my comments back in blue. Of course, they're all in black here. It's black and white. I don't have anything. One disclosed. So, uh, going to comment on this one right here. So he's going to like go through and comment about all of this shit. Okay, what a douche canoe. Did that all fix? Thank dogs one out at 2 a.m. Damn, did expert follow this year? Maybe. Nah. Feral's getting hammered in Vegas right now. She's in Vegas. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> what? Vegas is cool. <laughs> She's out there with Vegas. She's rich gonna... <laughs> Vegas is going to pick her ass up. <laughs> Body cam footage. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, cat talk is always appropriate. Can you serve any other topic? It hurts so much. (laughs) (laughs) Get out. (laughs) Oh, God, the pain. Oh, God. Oh, Andy Pono, I should go to bed, but my FOMO was screwed. <laughs> I should too. I should too. <laughs> I'll like here, Oklahoma's next to Oregon. Yeah, Oklahoma's next to Oregon. You don't watch Baker? MG don't mix up Baker. That's right. Uh, uh, well, the, your weather over, yeah, the, the Oklahoma weather is being sent over to us, or the Oregon weather is being sent to Oklahoma. We're right next door. God. He's an attack kitty. Yeah, he is fearsome. <laughs> <laughs> In Vegas, by Vegas Rick. Gotta be yeah. Vegas Rick. 
It's probably going to pick her ass up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, an hammer. <laughs> Get her hammer. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be like, I, I know where babies come from. <laughs> it's not my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Sunday not morning. Right anyway. <laughs> it's a <laughs> Sunday morning for me. So his comments. <laughs> oh god, this douchebag like is going through and like puts in their section, <gasps> their email, and then decides to have his comments. There's obviously been a lot going on, and I don't have unlimited hours in the day. I'm not holding anything (laughs) back. I'm just trying to prioritize things. I'm sure she's not holding anything back. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Clayton didn't. You know that. Oh, God. Yes. If she's around Vegas, Rick, she'll be fine. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'll do 10 more this week. No, we're going, we're working backwards for the most part because these emails and we went so far but we're going back up back up because the emails were in re- reverse chronological order so what so i don't know did we guys eat a bunch of gummies no i don't i don't need gummies to act like this i've had uh i love gummy of, bears i've had, I've yeah. had four shots of the clean living founders reserve so oh yeah and i, I haven't eaten since like better. i want to say five, i haven't had anything to eat in about seven hours so Oh, you'll like my cookbook then. (laughs) She's getting one type of hammer. Type two is a possibility. (laughs) 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 They need to adjust the sex ed curriculum to include N95 masks when speaking about contraception. (laughs) 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 Go to bed, guys. Love the line. Oh, oh. Good night. Oh, yeah, thanks, Nashua. <laughs> so you wear Sometimes. a gas mask for her pleasure. <laughs> oh, geez. I can't, man. Just so <laughs> April eighth. So this was April eighth. So has the judge actually signed the motion to compel order you submitted? If she did, I have not seen that. Assuming the order has been entered or is to be entered soon. I'm obviously going to comply with it, but I still feel we have other things to discuss that may relate to that order. Mm-hmm. Oh. Among other things, when I first got involved, I did not know, but obviously know now that Corey Keith gave you a detailed disclosure statement on February 23rd. Coincidentally, nine days after the due date of the babies. In your motion compel filed on March 11th, you told the judge that slut bag had given you no disclosures at all for eight months and that she had only recently provided minimal disclosures. Both things were totally and completely false. (laughs) Jeez. In addition, because you refused to give me sufficient time to review this stuff, I did not know, but now understand that when you... the hell? When you Tried. filed, it's, it's so oh, damn blurry. Wow. Then when yeah. you file, because it looked like a t, it looked like tiled. I'm like, that makes any fucking sense. <laughs> well, she got when you filed the motion compel on March 11th, the, the only out. basis. What? She got the grout cleaned out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off to bed with babysit my youngest grandson in the morning. I'm pretty sure he wasn't at the rope baby. Oh. <laughs> This is my first. This is wild for my first live stream here. Well, welcome, Ray. How badly my stomach hurts. Uh, oh, <laughs> That's why the filters are ripped. Cloth <laughs> <laughs> masks aren't a safe form of contraception. Talk to your doctor. Five <laughs> 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 adult bedtime story with my MG. If you want, you want some adult bedtime stories, watch Shizzy Street and his AI stories tomorrow night. Yeah, she doesn't need a she doesn't need a spin. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna say she needs a spittoon <laughs> for an urn. <laughs> oh. 
You had to drive your your oldest drive to prom what I miss. Hopefully there are no tonsil twins in your future, sir Frank Otter. <laughs> Dude. So the only basis you had for the motion was slut bags, general disclosure duties under Rule 49. In other words, this was not a situation where you served a specific request to produce an or, or interrogatory that slut bag failed to answer. The only basis for your motion was Rule 49. Well, she hasn't disclosed shit. She hasn't turned stuff over. Yeah, wait till you hear for a game night. Yeah, we talked. I, I mentioned it in the description that we might do game night, but it's uh, one o'clock and we're not going to do game night tonight. No. <laughs> you should hear game night. It gets worse. <laughs> much, much more degenerate oh, than this. God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, but on February 21st, the court issued a minute entry order, which provides as follows. The party shall complete initial disclosures no later than 45 days from today's date. 45 days from February 21st, it's April 6th. Based on this, it is clear you filed a motion to compel March 11th that sought information the slept bag was under no obligation to produce until April 6th. I'm sorry there's no other way to say this. That is absolutely unbelievable misconduct. Never seen any li- anything like it in all my years of practice. No, go fuck yourself, douchebag. <laughs> it's not. She's been going on for so damn long. Oh, she hasn't because I'm sure they 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 have requested discovery and she hasn't responded. Whether it's just the initial disclosures or not, I'm sure that the rules required initial disclosures long before that. But then, the, and, the, and now those have been extended for another forty-five days. But I guarantee you, there's been other discovery results. They've been asking for stuff for for months at this point. Oh God, here we go. What what is going uh, no on? Here? Nostril is stuff damn funny. Yes, warning: reuse of masks by multiple people can result in spread of infection in the days of someone Oh. Oh God. Oh. That's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're less than ten percent from other primates, so apparently she likes chunky monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, legendary does raise the degeneracy level on game nights. Uh, <laughs> yes, it depends on which 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 women are in the game playing the game. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god! Yes, yeah, ten years of this BS because she's she fucked somebody over ten years ago. Oh. Bond scum can get the more more degenerate. Oh yes. <laughs> I just went over to YouTube and a commercial for weed said it was okay to fake pregnancy, but not okay for fake weed. Oh, oh. Yes, it does give a dental dam a whole new meaning. <laughs> dental dam. <laughs> oh. oh, 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 the stomach. <laughs> not, <laughs> face hurts. Well, that's, not as bad, not as bad as hers. Then. That's what she said. Oh. That's what she yeah. said. <laughs> <laughs> She's got his and her, his and her beast stuff. His and her beast stuff. <laughs> That was strangely arousing. <laughs> giggity. I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, she disclosed were lies. <laughs> oh, we have so much more content for a game now. I oh, know. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> We've had so much with just... With this case and the what the hell? Oh my gosh! Oh, oh. So I had thought about doing it tonight, but I was like, "Oh, this this rep- the, we haven't even gotten to his reply." Oh, oh fuck. no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's always used. So look, I don't want to expand the arguments here, or make you don't want to expand the arguments, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> it it's more contentious, but this is one of the issues we need to talk about. I am very willing to be fair with you, but if you refuse to talk to me while simultaneously demanding that I comply with an order you obtained by lying to the court, 
well, that is not going to be a productive conversation. <laughs> yeah, well. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> she ah. ruined silicone twins through the dildo of eternity. <laughs> <laughs> if, you get, if you get pregnant through the mouth, must you give birth that way too? Oh, uh, no, that's, line. that's Ooh, not a baby bump. The, the no, bottom sweetheart, line. That's not a baby bump. That's an Adam's apple. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, God. <laughs> so the bottom line, and I love the bottoms, is that I'm oh. willing to work with you to try and de-escalate this conflict. Mm. Oh, <laughs> oh, right. so, if you're interested in that we have plenty to discuss on the other hand if you want to pound your test ooh, pounding, and demand that I play by the rules when you have shown the total disregard for the rules that is not going to be productive well you know we're trying to be reproductive here so let's try to be productive here that starts with talking and while I well <laughs> <laughs> Clayton didn't want her didn't want to hear her talk, so, <laughs> so it starts with obviously she kept her mouth <laughs> shut the whole the full the whole time. Takes that what that <laughs> takes what that mouth do to a whole new level. Oh. <laughs> you kiss your mom sign mouth. this and you can get in my tight hole. Hmm, sounds more like a health club membership. Fun at first with all the moving and sweating, but impossible to get it out of after you lose interest. <laughs> well, he's, he's gonna be like expert a couple of weeks ago who pulled a muscle to his side. I did. <laughs> God, it hurt so bad. Oh, I, it did bad. hurt that bad. Yes. We are now <laughs> all I dumber. Back. And I'm not even through the first his first section of response. Holy shit! I think being <laughs> reproductive is a problem. So let's not be productive. That's right. <laughs> So let's try to be starts with oh. talking. While I should not have to say this, it absolutely 1000% oh. must involve complete and total candor, candor toward me and candor towards the court in every communication without exception. Well, you, you can start the ball rolling on being, being can having some candor here, buddy. So number two is about lunch. Not a sushi fan. No, he does not like the fish. <laughs> he likes the, he wants a bit. He, he likes Kona Grill. He wants the steak. He wants that steak. <laughs> he so likes like, that's a meat. good compromise. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, he likes his meat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually tend not, to not eat much during the day. I'm getting fat and old. So the whole lunch thing was really a metaphor. Ooh, what's that? What's that a metaphor for? <laughs> Oh my God. That's what I kept saying. I was like, that, "Those lunch dates sounds like she wants to get to you called it. Again. You called it early. <laughs> I need to go back to my old journals to unleash all my best BJ jokes. Yes, I have a list. Yes, you do. You need to bring them out. You do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts, man. they're cream filled. This is my team has to honor her. <laughs> you catch your mother with that mouth. Oh boy. Oh, she doesn't. <laughs> oh my goodness. Would rather meet you for a beer and some nachos. Mm -hmm. Do you shoot pool? Oh, I like I like pool. I love pocket pool. Happy to meet you somewhere for some friendly games of pocket pool. Oh. I'm not a good golfer, but top golf will be okay as well. Your call on where, when, and what we do. Ooh, boy. You go meet up Three. with Tom Gillis for some top yeah, golf. We get a, we get a Tom Gillis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So, on the media, no clue what you're talking about. I have not reached out to Reality Steve yet. Ooh. Why is Clayton spending legal fees on media? I am not charging slot bag for anything I'm posting online. That is just me expressing my views about stuff. I don't charge clients for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you don't charge for stuff. 
<laughs> You'll charge him to stop posting stuff and ruin yeah. your case. Oh. <laughs> Again, he's not eating. I guess he's turning to anorexia to avoid pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> This is my seductive. Ooh. Oh. oh, Jesus. Oh, oh. oh, oh, no. oh that's, that's nasty. <laughs> Hold on, my Cleveland Browns. That's nasty. <laughs> oh, everything hurts. Why are my legs hurt? <laughs> she was asking her that the same question. She was asking herself the same question. <laughs> she was, she should have she, she she had no reason to hurt. She should have got extra knee pads. She should have um. <laughs> but she has the whitest teeth this dude ever came across. <laughs> Literally. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this describes the dish kid who sleep through year one while all of his postgraduate studies. <laughs> oh. Is this another version of corn? <laughs> <laughs> it's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, expert. Oh, this is why your legs hurt. <laughs> no. I don't know what's oh. happening. So now we're dealing with the experts. Yeah, we're talking about you, oh, experts. <laughs> They're talking about you, brother. Oh, awesome! <laughs> Again, if you would simply speak to me, I would nope. instantly. <laughs> Oh, talk, don't talk, talk to, crazy. to me now. It's like a damn woman. No, <laughs> no <laughs> thank you. And instantly it. realize there are ways to simplify this dispute. In <laughs> fact, in the spirit, typo there, buddy, of trying to show what can happen when we communicate. Let me share some information with you. As I mentioned before, I have the photos you want to see. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other no, night, I, got no, a I don't want to see those pictures. <laughs> I understand that you want to give them to your experts because you don't, you don't. Truth- she wants to give those pictures to the expert. He'll post them for you. <laughs> They'll be in Discord. <laughs> Week. Oh. <laughs> because you, again, <laughs> typo it should be you don't trust the image dates. It should be you don't truth the truth. Uh huh. If my oh. truth, the image dates, Greg, that is not going to be a problem. Oh, You're going God. to love the image dates because the images okay. are dated July 23rd. Yeah, he's, he's going to love the image dates because the, the, the miscarriage image dates are before she filed her case. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. She knew she had a miscarriage. She had no grounds to file a fucking petition. Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh god. Still you think an expert to debunk the dates? Expert. You still think you need one? I would expect not. Not that this matters, but I also have text messages between Slutbag and her sister dated July 23rd. Again, arguably helpful for you. No, it's very helpful. <laughs> very helpful. But certainly not dispositive of anything. No, well, it's dispositive of the fact that she filed a frivolous lawsuit. <laughs> Yes, it's not corn night yet, but it's getting close to the coochie lips night. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Oh, oh it's so weird. Oh. <laughs> I was adjusting my. Uh, they're adjusted. Born out of a rage, she just miscarried. Oh, say like, what, the murderer? <laughs> you miscarried. <laughs> Ray, you need to gargle. This this gives a new meaning to the accidental pregnancies. (laughs) 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 Oh Oh my goodness. Uh, Also, I did not have, I do have some telehealth info showing slut bag seeking medical advice on July 23rd. I don't think this is helpful to either party, but it's something I'm willing to disclose. (laughs) But here's the thing. 
I'm still on the fence about giving it up to you, the photos themselves. <laughs> <laughs> but she is. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you agree to not publicly disclose them prior to trial, if there is a trial. No, there's going to be a trial. <laughs> yeah. That seems pretty damn intent on having a trial in June. Oh. <laughs> Miscarriage when she drooled on her <laughs> oh. oh, given the incredibly inappropriate circumstances, which oh last night when the night <laughs> oh, resulted in the motion to compel order being granted, I still have not decided if I want to fight that order further. This really depends on how reasonable you are. If you're reasonable with me, I will be reasonable back. <laughs> or I'll throw it back on you. Just don't but it's hard to reach a conclusion about which side you're on when you won't speak to me. Well, we know which side he's on. Your client's a lying bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if she has proof she miscarried before the lawsuit, do you take it as truth and say the lawsuit or prove that it's fake? Well, it's clearly frivolous if she <laughs> if she files a, the lawsuit because she was filing it like for child support stuff, and she's been and she's committed perjury throughout the case, saying you know, in in the the hearing in November, the Zoom meeting hearing, saying she was one hundred percent pregnant, that she had just gone to a doctor the Friday before that hearing, and that she was one hundred percent pregnant. That's fucking perjury. So I take it as truth. Her ass is 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 grass anyway. Either way, she's in trouble. But she filed and then her petition she's, she's, filed a week, filed eight days later, is one hundred percent frivolous because she oh, knew at that point she's it's my, knowingly false. My question <laughs> is, and, and that's if what she would have saying, used her ass. Do you think she would still be pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, oh Jesus oh. Christ. Oh, there's oh, bonus points. I love it. Bonus po- oh, I think we already talked about the bonus points. Bonus. Oh my God. Oh, so I think no. we need to go. We got to go back down, down, down. Going down. Like Laura did. Going down, down, down. Down, down. Down, down. Down. Oh, here's exhibit number two. Ooh, oh, no. Those are, those are nasty. Oh, why? Why are they so what posting? Is, what? So he's like, oh, this is um, this is Woodrick's proof. Response. He posted so this something. is his response about this is a uh, douche canoes uh, Twitter. Looks like new motion filed yesterday in Slutback versus Eckerd. I'll probably post a short blog update later this morning. This is his motion to compel lunch, which is we know is lunch. He's gonna. Ooh, he's kind of hungry. So for now, <laughs> onward we march. Have the last minute settlement, which is probably the most likely. Outcome. He thinks that's going to be an outcome. No, yeah. there's no, there is no fucking settlement. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Some, some people call their ass or their money maker with Lawrence or uvula. <laughs> that was that, or she thought that was her clit. <laughs> I can feel it on my clit. <laughs> no, honey, that's your uvula. <laughs> she gonna get pregnant from her ass. She's too full of shit. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no, this. <laughs> if she tried that, she'd have a harder time taking a picture of the miscarriage. Ooh, is that fetus? Nope, just a bit of corn. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 she did a shuckle up. Oh, <laughs> Her and Lynette could have oh, got together and shared corn cups. <laughs> she presented Lynette's shit shack. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the oral argument. He's gonna be need to thumbs up. Oh, oh God! No, jeez. Oh, no, so, no, no. So for now, absent the last minute settlement, we will have a trial in June. Oh, I love this. I love the month of June. It's my favorite month. Whoops. And the judge will decide who is lying and who is telling the truth. The only issue not up for debate that day is the bullshit motion for sanctions that Clayton filed in January, in which he has now withdrawn. And that's a good thing. P.S. <laughs> As I get more up to speed with this case, I'm really starting to lose patience with the small but vocal handful of people out there who are milking this case. Well, the only <laughs> one milking anything is Laura. Oh. Your, client. Ooh, your client's the one milking. Ooh. This case for personal <laughs> financial gain. I'm not one of them since I make nothing from writing this stuff. Well, it's a good thing because your clients could sue your ass for oh. malpractice if they were you were charging them for it. <laughs> you, the guilty and the dirty. Who I love the dirty. You know who you are. <laughs> it's These dirty. people. Oh, I like it dirty. Oh. Oh. The legendary is like Nostal Dundas is going to be a tough editor on game night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jude. You've got a membership now. Oh, <laughs> I get the membership. Oh, right. Hey, Jude. Oh, oh, Seth Rock was talking about her when he said slop on my knob. Like, like, oh, like, oh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she might want to talk to Lynette. She might want to adopt the twins. <laughs> These people, not naming names, are generally blogging or hosting YouTube videos every day. Everybody's <laughs> jealous about these social media people. <laughs> laughing at cases. you. Laughing at you. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. He's whistling Dixie on a skin flute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As Bird keeps disappearing further and further into his seat, you <laughs> see the whole scene at the top of his head. Yeah, it's just like a plate saw. I just can't do it. It's all plate saw, too. <laughs> now he's in this predicament. Oh. Oh. <laughs> So, talking to talk about the videos every day to talk about the case. So they're hosting YouTube videos every day to talk about the videos. Okay. To, videos every day to talk about the case. But they are not really talking about the case. Not even close. They don't <laughs> all the facts and they don't give both sides of the story. Well, yeah, we do. Like any real journalist would do. Well, uh, what's Megan is a smart journalist, and she has been more than fair giving both sides. Well, just that your side is some crock of shit. So at the end of the day, they don't give a shit about this case, and they don't give a shit about the people involved or the truth. Well, you need to speak to your client about giving a shit about the truth. They're nothing but mosquitoes sucking their meager, oh, sucking their meager livings yeah. out of the First Amendment. I fought so hard to protect. Mm -hmm. oh. he, she knows about sucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talk to your wife. She, she's the expert on that. <laughs> <laughs> and so, oh, 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 I don't want to think about sucking too. Oh. These human leeches are selling oh. ass crews and twisted shit way <laughs> out of perspective in order to increase. The drama. So much drama. We love those drama llamas. <laughs> oh. And thereby get a few more pennies, pennies of Google AdSense revenue. Yes, we love those pennies. pennies. And a few super chat bucks to pay for breadsticks. Oh, I, I love breadsticks. Send me super <laughs> chats for breadsticks. Please. <laughs> Send me that. Go to Olive Garden and get those bottomless uh, Endless salad and breadsticks. I want some breadstick money. Some like her throat. <laughs> Bottomless. Endless. Bottomless. Ooh, endless. It's endless. Ooh, yes. What are we, leeches oh, or mosquitoes? Cramping. <laughs> That's right. I like cramping. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> they both they both suck. So he's just as got long as your throat online. isn't cramping, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> as a First Amendment attorney, get busy about people talking like it makes sense. Well, because he's he's the target of our ridicule. <laughs> He's a douche canoe. That's why. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sorry. I don't care. You're, I, I have anxiety over the roof. This is so bad. <laughs> 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 Your defense no longer have pennies in Canada. Oh. <laughs> yes, I did legendary thanks to you. I did it better than a few pennies tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! Oh, oh no! Oh, it oh, honestly no. makes me puke. Well, <laughs> no, that would be an abortion. <laughs> just... Oh fuck! These sick, oh these sick, selfish, lying assholes. I, I normally love assholes, but these sick and selfish, lying assholes are getting on my nerves. Should I clarify how I feel? <laughs> these vile right. scum. Ooh, we're, sc- we're scum now. Yes. I mean, <laughs> I mean, people are not helping anything. Oh. They are human cockroaches spreading feces on the floor. Fucking meltdown. What's, what's up, people? <laughs> ah, what's up? Loves he went and got her. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh. They're human cockroaches spreading feces on the floor and then spinning the facts <laughs> to make them more dramatic than they really are. No, this is pretty fucking dramatic. I mean, holy shit. You're claiming your client is a fucking medical marvel. <laughs> serious? She should be studying. Oh, my God. Years to come. Years to oh. come. I mean, geez. Did he accidentally publish his diary? I guess he did. Oh, my brain hurts. <laughs> it does. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> just, I, just, I mean, I think we did pretty good for liars, me. considering we don't have perjury in our future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop the, stop the pain. Oh, my goodness. Oh, We're now man. mosquito leech cockroaches. That is oh. a terrifying... <laughs> it's terrifying chimera. And we have to worry about. Oh. Oh. So suck oh. your blood, and there would be a mute to nuclear war. So. <laughs> and you can't get rid of them. Girl, you're supposed to be getting hammered. <laughs> yeah. That's what I heard. That's what we heard. Dude. That's what I heard. We know one way, possibly two different ways. I heard you were with Vegas Rick and hammered. <laughs> or being hammered by very what? I get some of the drugs that douche canoes taking. I thought the mushrooms gave you the best. Oh, oh God. God, dude. So it's some good stuff. Oh. Oh, I only get the best. Oh. <laughs> They're making them more dramatic than they really are in the hopes that this will drive traffic and increase revenue for their sad, pathetic lives. Yes, we do live sad, pathetic sad, lives. pathetic lives. Well, that's true. Oh. I identify yeah. with that statement. <clears throat> yeah. What does that make your your life if we're making fun of you? <laughs> Cockroaches under the fridge is looking for pennies for breadsticks. To to feed the feed scum. Scum. <laughs> <laughs> it's really conjured up a terrifying creature. Yes. <laughs> That's right. A, le- a mosquito leech and <laughs> cockroach oh. mix. A uh, hybrid. Oh, oh my God. God. One day, these trash humans will wake up and realize that lying for money is not a good way to live. Well, do you make a good living doing it? Because you're you're a liar. I mean, lawyer. You're you're, you're a liar. Or maybe they will never see their sins. Either way, I look forward to reading their obituaries briefly before throwing them in the trash where they belong. So he's he's like hoping for the death of these people. I mean, seriously? Uh, what the hell, dude? Uh, uh, he must have he must have forgotten his meds that day. It's funny, he's describing oh, insects do, that are pivotal to the ecosystem. 
So Olive Garden needs to capitalize on this and make a new douche canoe platter. Roaches, human feces, pond scum, leeches, and all you can eat breadsticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Oh, oh. My goodness. What is. I don't know who this is and what this is, but thanks for the $1. When I go to the casino tonight, I'll put it on the roulette wheel and let fortune decide my fate. <laughs> oh, so this is, this is douche canoe. I gotta go. Thanks for the oh. color. Oh. When I go to the casino tonight, I'll put it on the roulette wheel. I love the spinning. I love the spin. Also, I don't plan to make further public comments for now. The process was helpful, but not very productive. So it was his own fucking like therapy session. <laughs> He just puts out there. Moving on to other tasks. Yes. Yes. He's defending someone who sucks and defending other sucking creatures. <laughs> it was quite nice that they will write obituaries for cockroach leech mosquito hybrids. Oh. That's that's why we have the umbrella guy Pope. He's absolving our sins. Yes. Oh. In nomine patre et fili et spiriti sancti. <laughs> oh, man. oh that's the reason for the legal vices of the jury and that was fucking hilarious oh. his obituary was awesome oh. Oh. <laughs> was my suggested og platter much different than the normal olive garden food i haven't been to olive garden in a while but they it, it's okay it's not bad Oh. Girl, are you puking? Lightweight? No, well, she just you're a murderer if you're puking. Did they write an obituary for Godzilla or Predator? <laughs> oh. Let's see what's next. Mm. Oh, is this douche canoe again? Oh, yes, there is. I'm commenting because there is a huge, and I love huge things, <laughs> this information being spread like, unlike, well, my client's lips. <laughs> Can guess which ones? Unfairly about slut bag. The purveyors of these lies will likely be sued in the near future. Well, you know, if you feel fog, froggy, jump, buddy. Go after it. <laughs> I'll grip the shit out of it. For now, I'm trying to correct the record and help people understand the law. Right. I'll blog about that ASAP. Bullshit. Just look at Alex Jones. He spread lies about parents who lost their kids in a school shooting. He was sued. Couldn't prove his lies were true. No, actually, he got defaulted under on some bullshit discovery. Uh, that's how he got he got a default judgment for discovery violations. It was not proved. He didn't prove his lies. He didn't get a chance to prove his lies are true. Jury ordered to pay one point five billion dollars, which is a bullshit jury verdict. No. Yeah. Anyone who thinks it's funny to spread lies better own a tent in the sleeping bag. Well, yeah. I mean, you don't understand that case at all if you're going to use that as an example. Yeah. So you came up to the you came up to your room to put more clothes on. It's cold out there tonight. Well, you're in the you're in the desert. It gets cold in the desert at night, Feral. Yeah, she you lost them. Oh. Yeah, Feral putting clothes on. Yeah, we know you're not putting clothes on. <laughs> you're Alfie. in Vegas, Rick. No, you're in it's, Vegas, Rick. <laughs> it's a uh, costume change. Yeah, it's <laughs> going from naughty nurse to school teacher. To... It's a furry. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I said, put a furry costume on. <laughs> if you want to stay warm, <laughs> and I looked at her. It's like, I want to know how little you were wearing. <laughs> oh, she sent pics. She just had her pasties on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh well. this is a horrible creature. Well, no, not, she's not talking about Clayton, apparently. Oh, he's, got, gosh, he's got it. <laughs> he can get her pregnant <laughs> through the throat. Apparently he's um, well hung. Oh. Yeah, that was a wild comparison to compare this to Alex Jones. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. She's actually closer to Alex Jones' position in this, considering the discovery issues. <laughs> I'm just yeah. gonna give her a code, a new code name, Hoover. <laughs> sure, nah. she will cover though. She blows everything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Legendary's already seen what she was wearing. I haven't. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Oh, man. Oh, I'm going oh, to fall over. <laughs> I'll fall on my chair. Kill me. Oh, we got more. We got more. And what makes you so confident? You know the truth. Were you there when Clayton and Slutbag hooked up? Oh, well, Hoover. Slutbag. We got to call her Hoover now, I guess. That's better. Slutbag and Hoover. Oh. Have you seen all our medical records? Well, have you? Yeah, you think you've seen them. They're fake. I have. And trust me, the people who have accused Hoover of lying are probably going to end up sued for defamation. I'm not talking about you. Well, she's already admitted to faking a document. In her deposition, she admitted to faking the sonogram. So her word is not nearly worth nearly as much as what what you think it is. <laughs> I mean, geez. Oh my God. <laughs> so I, we, I, it's reasonable for everyone to question any documentation she sends. It's just I she posts a- because she's already admitted to faking one of them. I had AI create the uh, the, uh, the the mosquito cockroach leech dancing in pond scum. <laughs> you put it. Oh, it's here. Yeah. <laughs> it's so disturbing. <laughs> like what the hell is that? That is your cockroach leech. <laughs> so messed up. It's so wrong. <laughs> like where do they where do they come up with this crap? Oh. Can you defame a non public? Yes, you can defame a non public figure. Yes, but since yeah, she she but she is easier. a public figure, so it's a much higher standard for for them to for him to get a defamation judgment. Oh. You can't. Yeah, you know, there's there's too much out there that she's she's a public figure, even <laughs> even limited purpose public figure that. We're gonna call her Dyson. She sucks like the devil. Oh my god. They, they, he's he's got the worst nomenclature. He says, nah, they could refile anytime. This guy won't yeah, be. Yeah, talking about the motion for sanctions. Oh. This guy oh. won't be along around long anyway. Judge is going to chew him out and spit him out. Mm-hmm. Just like well, she unlike, should. Unlike unlike my client, uh. judge is gonna spit. <laughs> Expert he left. He's like, nope, nope, not doing it. Not doing it. Uh, I don't know. Oh Jesus! Here for the long haul. Oh, Sir Hopefully. Frank Otter, oh, my God, that is terrifying. Just ran it through my eye, and oh my God, it's scary. <laughs> you need to post that in the. You, you're a member. You can post it in Discord, unless you don't have access to Discord. Shit, I don't know anymore. I don't know no. anymore. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God! I spit him out. Does he say that shit on purpose? He has <laughs> to, right? Is totally doing it oh. here for the long haul. <laughs> Don't believe me? Let's bet. I'll bet you a thousand dollars of my own money that I will be here through the end of this case. Oh, no. well, yeah, because you apparently don't give a shit if your client lies. What message me? A, message me, and, and we will set up an escrow for the wager. I won't hold my breath. <laughs> she didn't. No, but she, well, she probably does. She probably did hold she her breath. Put, she put her mouth where her money was. Is that a yes? Put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, we both know you won't enjoy the troll life. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, no. No. Oh, this guy is an idiot. He's gambling on top of his shitty personality. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Oh my goodness! I have access to mine, yeah, because I probably haven't updated the damn link in forever. Oh, oh, oh. it hurts so much. Oh, geez. You know the worst part is he's only getting like fifty-two views off of <laughs> this shit. <laughs> like nobody cares about me. Nobody loves me. Oh, oh my God! Okay. What's going on here? Uh, it's 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 oh, like my Twitter go. account. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even care. I just use Twitter so I can post when I'm streaming. 
<laughs> to make fun of people like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, try to, I'm gonna try to update this <laughs> Discord oh. link real quick. Um, oh, oh geez. Man. Okay, let's see. Where is it? Mm. Where did it go? <laughs> it counts a money shot if you put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> Oh, oh God! Yes, no likes. <laughs> Fifty few views, no likes. <laughs> it's 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 taking like fifty-two views and no likes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like my Twitter account. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh my God! All right, it's updated. It's updated. There we go. <laughs> Click on it. It'll take you to uh, the main server uh, waiting room. Oh. Um, and then you can oh. let the uh, mods know what your yeah. YouTube name is. And they'll get you, and that you're a member of my stream, you're my channel, and they'll get you access. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. Jeez. Uh, oh. I don't need to. I can watch you fail and laugh. <laughs> That's the That's response. He's <laughs> trolling, trolling his ass. <laughs> oh. 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 Is this, oh, I zoomed in too much. Oh. Oh, my goodness. I... So, is this a slut bag? Oh. Oh. Hang on, several people posted shame on you for posting someone's name. I have no clue who they're talking about. Now, are you saying you want nothing confidential? Okay, which is it? All confidential or nothing? Listen, this dude's like, oh my God, it's super ridiculous. He is losing his mind. A kid's yeah. slut bag asked for confidentiality and Clayton said Hoover. no. Because no, <laughs> she wanted to keep everything under wraps and he, you know, I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh. No, the the problem is he he doxed a third party who had nothing nothing to do with this case. He he doxed that person. There's a big difference. Yeah. So, replying to Megan Fox writer. All oh, right. Oh my God. <laughs> and yes, of, and of course, course, I read my yes. own emails. Oh, I have I, no idea who Sletbag is. I have no idea. Oh, this. Oh, the, the so third this party. is. It's a shielded that third party. No idea why he would need to be shielded from public view because he's got nothing to do with this fucking case. Blaine's yeah. lawyer could have told me that, but never did. If this, oh, we gotta go. Is this crazy talk continues? Hard, Hard blocks, blocks will follow. follow. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what? stop. Is, is that the thing called the mouth dam? <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, the he came in swinging million. very hard for not knowing a damn thing about this case. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Slip bag ass for so, a protective order. For the 99 asked. millionth time. 99 millionth. Hoover, Dyson. That's a, we're going to call her Hoover or Dyson? Oh, we just call her Hoover. Call her Dyson. I, I like Hoover. Hoover. Dyson asked for a protective order. <laughs> <laughs> she asked for the court to say certain stuff should be kept private. Clayton opposed this and he wanted nothing to be private. And the court agreed. If you don't like that, Tell Clayton to taint oh. his view. Well, taint his view. <laughs> don't like my bio? Ask for details. I am the Connor McGregor of litigation. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, oh. Ooh. That's a hard body. Oh. Done tons of family law cases. I don't list those because they are boring. Well, for FYI, Clayton's lawyers handled two federal cases. High profile cases go to federal court in case you didn't know. Well, no. Ah. Me, 79 federal cases and counting. Unless it goes to the Supreme Court, generally it's not high profile enough for people to know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. OJ, Johnny Depp, those are state cases. All these crazy, um, you know, the, the 
the Trump cases for the most part, all of it, what a couple of those are state cases, the the Fannie Willis, the Rico case. It's a lot of big cases, big high profile cases are state level cases. So here's is this uh I don't know who this is. You've said yourself you're trying to get up to speed with this case. There are people posting replies to you that know this case inside and out. Every court document, every televised court hearing, every article that Dyson has written about this. Why do you assume they are lying? Oh, here and we go. put all the noise aside. Had multiple positive yeah. pregnancy, multiple positive Prove pregnancy it. tests before Prove she it. filed this case. Not one, not two, multiple positives, including one purchased by Clayton and taken directly in front of him, which was positive. What else really matters? Well, the thing is, if there were, uh, is it just an, an HGC, HCG test? I mean, there are things that you can take to make a pregnancy test positive because it's it's searching for minimal yes. levels. Yes, semen. So, there, there are things that you can take. Yeah, semen. Semen. Dirt devil, filter queen. <laughs> yeah, se semen. Usually you take semen, it gets you pregnant. It yeah, shows up. well, she didn't do that. She took it to the face. I mean, the mouth. So we could call her the dirt devil. Oh. <laughs> still, still zero likes. <laughs> Somebody just checked. I'm here for these. I'm never here for these late night streams, but now I know what everyone's talking about. Well, welcome to the party, Mexican. <laughs> if we call her Hoover, can we refer to her as cavernous cock gobbler? As Hoover? <laughs> we call her this Hoover's <laughs> garage. Her gyno ENT or dentist can start a channel called The Wizard. <laughs> Connor McGregor should this guy for defamation. <laughs> yeah the problem is she miscarried before she filed the case so the entire freaking case is frivolous oh. yeah she took stuff to fake it yeah you can there you can take stuff yeah she, she spit on the test <laughs> <laughs> if he blocks he'll have even less views <laughs> damn it oh. kitty cat no kitty it's a bad kitty ah shit a microphone. <laughs> you can control your cat, man. <laughs> she's the nut buster. <laughs> she's not a dust buster. She's a nut buster. Oh, my goodness. So the only thing remaining, the only remaining issue in this case right now is this. Did the Dirt Devil lie about being pregnant? Yes, I'm still new to the case, but the evidence on that point appears to be 10,000 per se. Something earlier, he was just 1,000%. Now it's 10,000. She took a pregnancy test that Clayton bought in front of him. How is that not conclusive? <laughs> because, take the fucking, because the blood tests are all showing little to no fetal DNA. I got it. I got it. You can for fake it. the HCG, but you're not going to fake the blood test. <laughs> How is that not conclusive? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not assuming they are lying. That isn't how this works. Clayton has a duty to disclose admissible evidence to me through his lawyer. I get to look at that evidence and determine what it means. Views of strangers on X is not admissible evidence. What the. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Hoover's Garage, the dumbest lawyer with the most retarded That's client not... on the internet. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> oh, yes, the attack cat is at it again. Oh, uh, you can put it in. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Bend over, I'll show you. No. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That's, That's a joke. <laughs> watch That's too much Christmas, Christmas vacation, vacation, man. Christmas vacation. <laughs> My wife and I say that to each other all the time. Who do I put this? Well, bend over. I'll I show know. you. Yeah, everybody does. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> uh, oh, let's see. Um, at this point, I guess I should pick a damn tonsil twins. 
think. But um, well, you can just put it in the random stuff, I guess, for now. Oh, <laughs> I'll show you. Random stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what the actual shit I did my old taxes, and you guys are still here. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna have to get my ass up and go to mass in the morning too. Yeah, you are. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> we all need to go. No. Yeah, I do, but I'm gonna be like, God, I didn't go because MG. No. <laughs> I have a cookbook to write, man. <laughs> You saw the Lebowski. I have a beverage here, man. <laughs> totally. <out. laughs> oh, good lord. What the hell? <laughs> Sir Frank Otter posted. Texas Jen. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Don't leave me, Texas. <laughs> oh, shit. I got to I got to Okay. Oh. Here we go. Oh, oh. Jesus. Oh. Oh Jesus! Oh, ow, you little bastard, go over there. To the... <laughs> He's heavy too. God, it like killing my shoulder. Oh, oh I'm so. Uh, where am I? What's going on? How did I get here? It's funny having your closed captions on MG because. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm laughing. Are it's they like, on? Ow, you little <laughs> blank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this hurts. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> no. Damn it. I don't want to. I was trying to pull that picture up, but. Picture pages. Picture pages. I got a fat cat. Yeah, he's a fat ass. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Shizzy is banana nut twins in your cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> but there is something with some bananas in it, though. <laughs> uh, your Discord. Geez. If you're if you're a member, you can. If you're a member of the the stream, you can uh, the channel. You can go to the membership tab. Um, there he goes. Send tax boy a link. He's. <laughs> Tax I mean, boy. Tax boy. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. I gotta go to sleep. It's not Holy 3 cow. Oh, Jesus, man. Yeah, oh, dude. Uh, why am I still here? We're gonna close our mouths. Am I get I don't know. I don't know. There's only uh, 10 more pages of this shit. So let's, let's get well, that's not gonna happen. Let's can we get stuff. through two <laughs> without laughing your ass <laughs> off? Oh, oh god no <laughs> nine more pages just nine more pages oh, oh why, why does I'll mg read. have a hard time coming up with the content because he uses it all in one night it's pretty simple she's already admitted to doctoring her ultrasound she never saw an OBGYN <laughs> who performed an ultrasound Th that is the only way to confirm the twins well, that and a dental appointment, the woman lawyer was the fastest to peace out because any woman worth her salt can see right through this. Ha, ha, ha. The, oh. the woman lawyer oh, took a job the, in another oh, it's, state. It's, uh, it's douche her canoe. leaving had nothing to do with, with this slip bag. And, so, and, and, and Hoover Dyson. has testified she did have an ultrasound. She admitted changing the name of the place where it was done which of course was a bad idea, but she stands by her story. So what if it was twins or not? But she's already stated it was twins. Oh, uh, a woman can file a paternity case with zero positive tests. She can file a case just because she missed a period. She can file a case just because she thinks she might be pregnant. Even if she ends up not pregnant, it's not illegal to ask courts to help verify fraternity, dumbass. 
And if you feel positive lab test doesn't prove anything, that's fine. That's your opinion. I respect that. But legally, you're wrong. Medical tests are admissible proof. Bearing in mind, there's no legal requirements that the slut bag ever test positive before going to court. Oh, or she uh, asked for a pregnancy test. Uh, they took a sample, sent it to the lab. The result was positive bullshit. Mm-hmm. Come, okay. on. Come on. Let well, me here explain. He goes. Yeah. Well, this is this is a uh, douche canoe still. Yeah. Well, let me explain clearly as I can. This case is not about slut bag offering 1,100% per confirmed proof she was pregnant. That's not an issue here under the law. The only question is, did the slut have some reason to think she might be pregnant? That's it. That's it. That's it. No, so. well, that's that's the difference. But the problem here is she's now trying to provide evidence that she miscarried before oh. she filed her case. Yeah. So if she was no longer, she was not pregnant when she filed her case. She's shit out of luck. Well, uh, the bottom line, Clayton's cult hates the Hoover because you just don't understand how to swallow. But what's going on here? That mistake is making you see the case incorrectly. I'm trying to explain and clarify so you understand. But people are not listening. That's fine. I will keep moving forward. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching <laughs> out to war. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter if uh, she ever had an ultrasound. Doesn't matter if she faked an ultrasound. Doesn't matter if she never saw an OB care. Doesn't matter if it was twins. Doesn't matter if they weren't Clayton's. At some point, you'll catch on how did this works. You're not there. Well, it doesn't matter if they weren't Clayton's. No, she, but she sued him, saying that they yeah. were. So it does matter. Yeah. Oh, it Jesus. does matter. God. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, someday you'll catch on here, douche canoe. You're not there yet. Oh. Uh, what are the eagle, eagle, eagle arguments? Are oh. there the genuine question? Can you give the rules you'll be mentioning so I can look them up? Because I, 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 you, you make no sense to me. It's, it's also you know, Slutbag is gonna gonna file one or more motions for sanctions under a bunch of different rules and laws. Don't ask for details that will come just like. She'd got it on her face when the motions are filed. Well, and that's if needed. I am intrigued by what sanctions LE will be requesting. Mm. Mm, tell us more. Mm-hmm. If he does not withdraw, well, then it will never get all in her face. The motion, the rule gives him 10 business days. Then we will file a motion for sanctions. Well, no shit. That's sort of how it works. I'll be interested to hear what piqued your interest in posting. Somebody responding to this. <laughs> yeah, it's just saying what piqued your interest in posting updates about this particular case versus other cases you take. Well, main thing is because one party is aggressively making public statements about the case, and Slutbag feels her story is being drowned out by is- misinformation. Oh Jesus, that is the problem that needs addressing. So I've decided well, wait, to post. Is, is Clayton info. making public statements no. about it? No. No, she is. That's so he's decided like, to post some info to try and clear the air. Well, geez, man. All she has to do is brush her teeth. Hair will be much cleaner. Won't won't smell like semen. That salt water is thick. I am sure you will, <laughs> just as her revolving door of previous lawyers got there. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> And, well, and this is one, yeah, I mean, it's one lawyer left to take a new job, and the second guy left after Clayton's lawyer threatened him. Poor guy was young and not ready for battle. Oh, bullshit. No. No, one of them left. You say it's just because she left to take a new job. No, it's not the only reason. She knew that you're that that she was yeah. lying. She yeah. knew Laura was lying. That's that's just why, why which is why she tried to get her to sign documents saying that she was never pregnant. Yeah. She could see through the bullshit. Yeah, she went to the media first. She went to the sun. Yeah, she's the one that started all this. Motion to wake up the expert coming soon. Oh, he's he's about dead. The uh, attempt to get someone to sign oh, a relationship he- contract two weeks after they allegedly raped you is insane. 
if that is what happened, you may have a point. Well, she's claiming now that, yeah, that that's what, that's what happened. She's saying it, so you're cli- so is your your client a liar or not? Well, or maybe saying, you only you know only like three percent of the facts, and forming this strong of an opinion based on three percent of the facts is honestly fucking stupid. Well, you may be the one that only knows three percent of the facts. Yeah, I'm I, I'm not saying that I know more than three percent, but what I'm seeing, should, what I have seen, should your client is a freaking psychopath. Yeah. If you can show me how the slip bag lied, I would drop her as a client instantly. Oh Jesus, well, really? Here we really? go. She's lied. We already we already said she's lied. She's already admitted to lying on her, her sonogram. The if ultrasound. You mean what you say, you'd be open to helping me understand the truth. That is all I ask. If you turn your back on my request, what does that say about your truth? Well, well, we're supposed to do your job for you, buddy. Yeah. And dude's like, uh, she had a DNA test done more than once. And all results said little to no fetal DNA. Doesn't matter when she miscarried. No, yeah, it's it's like, dude, the fetal DNA lives in mom's blood for months and sometimes years after miscarriage delivery. This is a definitive proof there was never a pregnancy. Oh well, uh, uh, Jesus Christ! Uh, one great analysis, just one thing. You do have a pick of the time machine uh, slip bag used on eight one twenty three to go forward in time to ten fifteen twenty three. See these test numbers, then travel back to eight one twenty three, where she proceeded to maliciously file for paternity, knowing the future held. Please send pics. Oh, Jesus, guys, fucking moron. Oh, he's an idiot. Well, no, but see, that's the thing is she knew on July 23rd. Now, dickhead. Yeah. She allegedly miscarried and knew on July 23rd that she was no longer pregnant. <laughs> so, yes, she maliciously filed for paternity knowing what the future held. She knew on July 23rd she was no oh, longer pregnant. Fat grandma that's what clicked, you're saying now. Click so, left a bad was she a liar? Is she a liar now or is she a liar then? Pick, pick it. Uh, oh, God. Fat we hit grandma, the that's hilarious. Read Fat Grandma's. <laughs> what? Where? Oh, wait, I got there. Let's see. You don't see it? No, I know. I'm, I'm scrolling through the kitchen up here. Play, play <laughs> left bad taste in her mouth. <laughs> she lied on her back and swallowed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh god. Oh oh it hurts. No kitty. It's a bad kitty. No. He's doubled, tripled, and quadrupled down so hard it would be even more embarrassing now to back out. Yes, she said she was 100 percent pregnant in November. Yeah. On the Zoom hearing, she was 100 percent pregnant and that she had just gone to the doctor the Friday before. And it's confirmed she was 100% pregnant. So, yeah, she's committed perjury at this point. If she truly, if if your documentation shows that she miscarried in July, she knew she miscarried in July. Yet she filed a case a week later for paternity, knowing she was no longer pregnant. And then claimed in court that she was pregnant, knowing she wasn't. I'm crazy. Crazy for feeling so lonely. Oh, God. I'm crazy. I'm <laughs> crazy for loving you. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm done. I'm heading out. Okay. I'm going to show this one thing oh. real quick. It's, it's the, <laughs> what is that? That's the leech, mosquito, and cockroach chimera. Oh god, I love it. Oh man, I love it. Oh dear lord. <laughs> what kitty cat? What the hell do you want? Come on, jump your fat oh, ass up here. There we go. There, brother. Tell everybody. Hello. Oh. Look, look in the look in the camera. Look in the camera. <laughs> in the camera. Right there. Ah. You're not looking at the camera. There he goes. <laughs> He's going to so screw you up. Oh. Oh. She claims she didn't know it was a miscarriage. Well, that's not what she's saying now. 
She's so full of shit. Well, the, so she didn't know it was a miscarriage. She was eight weeks pregnant, had bleeding, doesn't know it was a miscarriage. Yet she then turned around and went to a damn. She did horseback riding, did an equestrian thing, while she's and pregnant. then went to a doctor to confirm that she was yeah. pregnant afterwards. Well, she's not going to go. Nothing ever happens to these kind of people. So well, it should. It should. No, the cat's it should. not trying to get sleep. He's it's he. Cats are cats are nocturnal. So it's at about the time he gets up and starts knocking shit off the shelf. So he's awake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she asked the judge in November to plate in her belly. It's like, I'm one hundred percent asking my husband to attend my next dentist appointment and asking my dentist for a pregnancy test. <laughs> 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 Good night. Wow, first stream to be a part of the creatures oh. terrifying. I might have nightmares. <laughs> yes. yes. So she she claimed that she passed the fetal sacs in when she miscarried. That was in July. She sent it to her sister and the teledoc, and they both said it was no big deal. Months later, a doctor told her she miscarried back then. Well, she already but she already knew because she passed the fetal sacs. She knew that she had miscarried. Yeah. Sorry. And then to not go to the doctor, bullshit. Yeah, it, it, it uh, yeah. There's no. no way that her sister and a telehealth a doctor is going to say, "Oh, you're eight weeks pregnant, and you're having all this bleeding. That's no big deal." No, they're going to tell you to go to the doctor. Yes, in person to be checked out to make sure because you can you can end up with severe bleeding. You could get you can have a lot of problem with a miscarriage. Yes, and if I had one, I would get the doctor. I mean, if I saw blood coming out of any part of my body, I would go to the doctor. Skip Except for like my nose. I have three doctors monitoring your pregnancy, and not not one knew there was no fetal heartbeat. Just makes no sense. Well, I mean, because they she actually didn't go to three doctors to monitor her pregnancy. Because nope. apparently, the doctors she has named have no record of her being a patient ever. Oh, Aggie! Oh my goodness! Doctors oh. usually have um, records. <laughs> yeah, according to her, she saw it. Well, she doesn't have proof that of the doctors that she has named have no proof, have no have a record of her being a patient. And then the sonogram, the ultrasound that she provided, she's already admitted to doctoring. So I, I just don't know. And you can, you can fake HCD test. Yeah, she, she knew, but for court, she's feigning ignorance exactly. Nothing in her reality makes sense. No, it doesn't. How she functions in society? She's got daddy's money. That's how she functions in society. Yeah, her neurologist. Her neurologist claims. And see, that's the thing. She's got like seizures or epilepsy or something that makes her a high-risk pregnancy. She'll be going to the doctor more often in, in a high-risk pregnancy. <laughs> she rode a horse right afterwards. Mm, Mr. Ed might be the real dad. Yeah, I mean, let, let, let's 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 put it this way. My uh, sis, sister-in-law, she had a uh, a high-risk pregnancy. She ended up with uh, what is it? Uh, diabetes. It's like diabetes? fetal diabetes. Like fi- fetal diabetes. It only happens whenever you're you're pregnant. Like as soon as you're not pregnant anymore, that problem goes away. But she. Uh, it was, yeah. it was, it was, it was, it was not. Amber Heard had mountains of evidence too. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was not, it was not a, a, a really happy pregnancy. I mean, she, she was at the doctor's office quite a bit because, you know, of bleeding and was really concerned. And so for her to say, oh, I, I had a teledoc is like, like, no, no, that's, that's not, that's not what you want to be doing. I yes, always gestation. call my dentist. I look forward to this one. Instead of thinking of it before now. Well, let's see. Here, look, we got another uh, got an advertisement for Douche Canoe. Esquire <laughs> works on contingency. No money down. <laughs> <laughs> five, five, five. <laughs> oh. oh, my oh, goodness. Yeah, you got to go play shoot. Chauffeur, oh, 
Yeah, we we have the reply. I'm gonna. I guess I'll wait to read the reply. I don't think it's that long. His reply is. Well, it's only like nine pages. pages? It's oh, it's only nine pages. Save it for, save it for another day. I, I'm out. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, it's three ten. Yeah, yeah, it is. <sighs> yeah, we'll talk about this one on Monday. Yeah, Tor Johnson, you are amazing. <laughs> yes, I'm the expert. <laughs> oh my goodness Just everyone have a good night this has been a lot of fun yet again thank you so much to oh, everyone man. who gives the memberships most, mostly legendary <laughs> <laughs> and a few from Laura from Laura Owens herself thank oh, you very much uh, yeah watch out you get Laura Owens membership yeah. <laughs> it might be for life <laughs> <laughs> a whore is a whore, of course, of course. <laughs> you know, a whore, of course. That's a horse. Well, that's a whore is the famous. Oh, no. It's horrible. It uh, I don't know if I'm going to go tomorrow. I mean, maybe I'll do it tomorrow night. I don't know. Yeah, probably will tomorrow. Well, if you do um, tomorrow I know that night, Jessica Reloaded is having her birthday tomorrow night. Yeah. I think I think it's earlier in the evening. Yes. Uh, no, it's uh, nine thirty. That um, it, it starts earlier. It starts at like six something. I thought something like that. Her time. Well, maybe it's her time, so it's eight. To, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I think she'll still be going whenever Great I finish street. up. Right. <laughs> Great stream, guys. Close to the corn live. It's, it's getting there. Nine pages will be six hours. Well, we went through 40 pages tonight. So yeah. we did pretty good. <laughs> 10 pages must, an hour. You must have got most of those before I got here. And we didn't start. We didn't start for like 30 minutes. So. Oh, oh my goodness. So we Yes, it looks like good logic is still going. So uh, we're going to redirect over there so it's actually remember to redirect tonight <laughs> <laughs> normally i don't oh man <laughs> yeah and see and i still got like a couple of sovereign i got a sovereign city citizen video i want to want to cover at one point <laughs> i got a couple of new uh um body cam footage Oh man, some fun stuff here! Wow, well, thank you, everyone. It's been a, it's a good Saturday night. Now I got to get oh four hours of sleep before the kids wake me up. Get ready to go to church. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you had fun, Ray. <laughs> Slow, that's fun. That's great. Glad. I hear you saying it's the first time. I hope y'all uh, come back and harass MG. That's the main Absolutely. Part. Absolutely. <laughs> Always have trying to have fun. You're welcome, Aggie. Oh my goodness. I just had to take a what the hell's break. They were doing a storage unit. Yeah, I did see that one. Nice to see Jeremy acting like a kid again. Well, hopefully he's a little under a little less stress. Uh for a great afternoon. Can't wait till tomorrow's stream. We'll see. I'll try to do it. Y'all practice safe swallowing. Make sure that when you brush your teeth tonight, you uh, <laughs> be sure to use your your uh, <laughs> some Listerine, <laughs> your contraceptive, <laughs> your spermicidal. <laughs> On your dental dam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> We'll see. Oh, I'll gosh. Should I do the short outro or do the long one? Which one do we do? Which one do you want to do tonight? Oh, whichever one you want to do, brother. Uh, we'll just we'll do the short one. We'll do the short one.